Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our adventure through Pokemon Emerald. Last time we started the game, went through, caught up a bunch of Pokemon, some of whom I have uh, grinded a bit off stream just to give them a bit of a boost so that we don't have just... That's the second full heal Zoom has given me. Good job, Zoom, Professor. But, yeah, just a little bit of a grind to l raise a few levels here and there so that they're just a little bit better and so that not all monotonous grinding takes place on stream. But uh, at the end of last time, uh, we beat this here Rustboro Gym. Yep, it's the Rustboro City Gym. Uh, sadly, our ace, Shane the Trico, did not get to partake in uh, all the experience because he had to kill a nose pass three times over. Uh, before we start uh, and, like, check out the dust... Like, I forget what it's called. The Something Corporation. Probably. I don't think I even read that sign. Nope. Just want to make sure because during my grinding I passed by some berries of which I realized uh, some of them cure things like confusion. And, uh, I think there's a berry. Yeah, like, confusion, paralysis, poisoning. I would, would have been nice to actually have uh, acknowledged that. We'll have to come back and check on the berry trees from time to time. So that we can harvest eternal berries. But what's this? The Devon Corporation. For all your living needs, we make it all. Well, people, why does this look more like a church? That stolen parcel! Well, sure, it's important, but it's not anything that anyone can use. In my estimation, that robber must not have been very bright. Hello, lady. One of our research staff stupidly got robbed of an important parcel. Harsh? You call him stupid? He works for you! It's beyond stupid. How could we get robbed? Is this a window or a thing? It's a window. I don't know why. Again, this does not look like a normal building. Well, uh, let us move on ahead. Hey, fat man. Hmm, a sneaky looking man. Come to think of it, yes, a shitty looking guy went around the corner. So he didn't go up. Uh, for some reason, I didn't expect it to go all the way up. Well, but he went around the corner, then so shall we. Oh, it's you! You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Pedalberg Woods! Help me! I was robbed by Team Aqua! I have to give the Devon goods back! If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble! Time-saving tunnel near completion is what it says on the sign, but there's also a big X splashed across it in red paint. Well, first things first, let's make sure that I have a good... Let's have Night Thing be in the front so that we can maybe level him up a bit. Because we don't know what we're going to run into up here. An Abra! It's going to use teleport. The moment it gets, I'm going to... I have a great ball! I'm going to catch you, you little... <laughs> great ball, go! You will be mine, Abra! How dare you? I have been slaughtered. I wanted the Abra. Just the, <laughs> the sensation of them being just running away. My brain always goes a much must catch. I don't really care about you, but I suppose I will catch one of you just for the sake of catching one of you. Smack him. Ah, <laughs> critical hit. <laughs> you dare. Well, it should be able to survive another hit. Will you stop using leech life? You literal leech. I don't even know what you evolve into. But either way, we shall throw a pokeball at you. Be gone, Satan. Get in the ball. Don't you dare break out. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You fuck. Will you stop leeching his life? Actually, you know what? Sand attack. 
We're gonna sand attack you a lot. Oh, now you're upset about things. I'm gonna sand attack you once again. And then we'll smack you a bit more. Game, you're being an asshole. Either you die or you don't, but right now you've pissed me off, you little fuck. And after I used the stinking sand attack too. Why is sand attack only ever working against me? It never works against anything else. It was very mean game. Now get in the goddamn ball so I can annihilate your entire family line in the future. And then if I ever care about, like, leveling you up. The trainee Pokemon? What does that mean? It makes its nest in the roots of a mighty tree. Using its whisker-like antennae, it probes its surroundings in pitch-black darkness of soil. You don't get a- you don't get one. You do not get a nickname. Now we will head back and heal N Night Fang that the game was very mean to. How dare the game be mean to poor Night Fang. He did his best, but the game was just an asshole. I wonder how- <laughs> it would be hilarious if that's like the only Abra I run into up there. I probably wouldn't even really use the Abra, mo primarily because I want a Ralts. So I can get either a Gallade or a Gardevoir, one of them. Sand attack. Again, only seems to work against me. We'll do it twice, and then we'll start smacking them ourselves. Again, only ever seems to work against me. Game, you are not making a good case for sand attack. Alright, noted. Sand, sand attack is fucking worthless. Duly noted game. Sand attack is the most worthless thing in the universe. He'll probably be a, like, no, not bag. Pokemon. We're gonna swap out because it'd probably be annihilated in a second because the game is just an asshole today. And besides, headbutt. Ha! Hilarious. Now I have to run back and heal Nightfing again because the game is an asshole. And Sand Attack is going the first moment that Night Fang learns a move above four moves because it has shown that Sand Attack is worthless. Apparently, enemies can hit with zero accuracy. All of them become Batman. You'd think it would work like once. And instead of fiddling with worthless accuracy down, I will raise my own attack and then kill. Because sand attack is pointless. I do find it funny that the higher level one was like, I'm just going to attack and do nothing else. The lower level one is I'm going to raise my attack and nothing else. I mean, I guess we could fight that trainer and also get some experience. This must be mighty e of the Puchiana Woods. Because we've ran into one Ninkada, one Abra, and then one Talo, and then everything else has been Puchiana. Which is mildly amusing to me.
be gone. Fade into sand. I guess we can fight you, I guess. My bug Pokemon are tough. Let's battle. Well, let's see. I've had a lot of bug trainers come at me. A Wurmple. I don't think I'll need to be afraid of you. I'll use one howl and then I'll beat your ass. Unless that just, like, immediately poisons. You slut. Well, I guess I'll just have to kill you quickly. Why is it that every single time one of my Pokemon gets hit by a poison move, it immediately gets inflicted with poison? It is already poisoned! You don't need to do that even more! What do you want to do? Double poison my Pokemon? Darn. Hmm. I will leave Night Fang out, and then I will swap. Well, that's just mean. I will have to look and see what item that Zoom got. But go forth, Zoom. Kill the bastard. You are very rude. Headbutt. You are very rude. Headbutt. Does your trained Nincada not know Absorb or Leech Life? Because the other one did. The wild one did. I lost. I thought I had you. Do you mean you thought you had, like, my singular Pokemon? And it might be a waste of a Pekka Berry, maybe. But... I don't want my Pokemon just being nuked. Oh yes, and let's check and see. Zoom, what item hath you got? <laughs> I guess Zoom got the, uh, <laughs> the Great Ball that we tried to use against that Abra back. We'll try and get a bit of experience up for others. Although, I guess I shouldn't really be that afraid. I should mostly, I guess, charge on ahead until I get to, like, a gym. And then maybe fight, like, the first gym trainer. And go, okay, so the ace of the Pokemon gym leader will probably be a few levels higher than that. And then I can, like have a metric of which I want to grind towards. Kill is a bird. In the wide world of the internet, there has to be a video of a guy headbutting a bird. There has to be. And apparently the bird has come back. It wants more headbutts. You flinched. Two for flinching. That's probably not what that's about. It's more just like, ah, they flinched, so they don't get their turn. They were too preoccupied with flinching. Guess we can try him. Hmm, there's just a normal boy. We'll heal everyone up. Fight the little trainer. And I guess move along because we haven't run into another Abra, just as I suspected. Uh, just as I thought. Uh, <laughs> no more. Abras appear for me. I thought I was going to be a mild joke, but it turns out, no. The game is like, S gaze upon the Abra you don't get to have. So unless you have the perfect Pokemon out at the ready to, like, paralyze them or something, they'll just teleport away. Which is why I threw my Great Ball, because I figured that was my only chance. Once again, we since I, I want Night Fang to catch up with everyone. I check empty places just to make sure. My Pokemon rule! Check them out! I'm going to kill your Pokemon and usurp their rule. 
You have one. You have one Pokemon. Well, how? I would use the sand attack, but it's basically worthless. Kill it! It's gonna just keep doing leer, then we can get more damage in. Because I don't know what, like, the efficient way of going about it would be. Like, how many howls in a row are efficient or not. That's the most single experience I've gotten, I think. Oh, just scrape! I have to put a, on a bandage! You are a dumb child, and you will die alone. Trainer tips. If you want to stop a Pokemon from evolving, press the B button while it's trying to evolve. The start of Pokemon will stop. This is called an evolution cancel. Why would it be the shock? You'd just be like, I'm evolving! No, stop! Alright, well, we're gonna catch you just uh, for the sake of it, I guess. Don't die. It's making an uproar. Well, let's silence it with a Pokeball to the face. We'll catch it just because we can. You bastard. We'll hit you once more, and if you die, you die. The entire world is mean to Night Fang, and I hate it. Get in the ball. You are about to be nothing but a corpse. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Good. Once again, wish that we got experience for catching Pokemon. The Whisper Pokemon High was making quite an uproar. Its cries equal a jet plane in volume. It inhales through its ear canals. Because of this system, it can cry continually without having to catch its breath. Well, that's horrifying. I'm going to call you deaf. Because you probably are. Once again, I long to go back so that I can heal up Night Fang and try and level him up more. This is just my paranoia, because the game is mean. I'm trying to level up Night Fang, and then it's like, here, newfangled Pokemon you want to catch. And then the game is mean and hurts poor Night Fang. When Night Fang is just being a good boy. Well, let us go forth. And the guy who's just hoping for his goods back is just like watching me run back and forth. He's just like, what is this kid doing? I'm going to be fired! Go Night Fang. Kill! How dare you growl. Now you- how does a bird even growl? You'd think it would have the move Screech more than anything. But next, another Talo. It has come for vengeance, and it's level 8. I shall howl. You may lower my... Uh, I lower... <laughs> you lower my attack, I raise my attack. So we have accomplished nothing. Why do you even use quick attack? You're already faster than me. Maybe I'll give him a an Orin Berry to feel better about himself. Or a potion. Because how many potions do I have? I have a decent amount of potions, and I don't want to run back. Let's beat up this lady. I study at school, and I study on the way home, too. Well, have you studied on how to die? Small child? Karen. Ah, so we, <laughs> this will be a good fun to kill. Ah, 
I think I'll use Howl twice and then I'll annihilate you. Especially because we'll need to do decent damage. Second Howl. The wild Pokemon do it, so it must be good. And now, uh, your Inchalala arrive. Be gone. I was hoping for a little bit more, but it didn't use Absorb! Huzzah! And you'd think that you'd use uh, Absorb by now. I understand swapping after the second time, because you're like, Oh, I guess they're just obsessed with raising their stuff. I'll just use Tackle instead of Absorb. I'm in shock. I lost. You lost. You're terrible. No one will save you. Guess I'll put... Zoom in front, so Zoom can get more experience. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Cut. We need to give cut to somebody. Zoom, you may annihilate this monster at your leisure. Kill. And death was had. And while we're here, we need to give cut to somebody. Let's see. Zoom is able, and is the only one available. Let's see. What shall be annihilated? Growl or Tail Whip? Probably Growl, honestly. I'm sorry for beginning you on the path of being a... A gym slave, my dear Zoom, but it's not going to be my ace. My starter is not going to be the HM one. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Apparently, like, uh, what's its name? Because I know that there is, like, one. Wait a second. Can you come up here? Is there a point to this? I must know. There is! X defend, a usable item that I'll never use. But, like, apparently I heard that uh, the final evolution of, uh, what's its name? The water type. Mudkip. Apparently, it is a fine HM slave. I am not going to turn my starter into an HM slave. Just want to check on those berries, make sure they're good. The music in this game is great. It is a very nice, like, jump from Game Boy and Game Boy Color to Game Boy Advance. It still feels familiar in that kind of chiptune way. But it also feels more fool and just good. And now we shall go on our way and cut down more trees. A bird, huh? Headbutt the bird. Annihilate the bird. And then once you reach level 13, we'll throw somebody in. Focus energy, you're not even gonna live that long, you screaming bird. If you wanna scream, learn to scream like a human. Go become a Chaddock. Hmm. It's potentially gonna be a double battle. I'm gonna wait for him to look at me at the same time. Darn you, little hacker man. I will kill you myself. It's a dead end up here. I'm bored, so can we battle? I will punch your eye out, like the Joker. This will potentially poison my dear Zoom, but oh well. Because apparently, Shroomish have an ability where if a physical attack connects, sometimes it will just poison the poor bastard. <laughs> We're not going to learn sand attack, it's a worthless move. Hmm. 
I'll send out Shane. It's been a while since Shane got to have a good fight. I'm Lotad. And Lotad, you're going to die, Bullet Seed. Go for four. 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 Ah, uh, it's at least three. That's very good. Three times is good. Absorb against a grass type. Are you dumb? Bullet Seed. Keep spitting seeds at him. Annihilate his soul. Who calls their child Johnson? That was fun even though I lost. Keep that attitude. It'll, it'll make you go a long way. Ah, you got an item. I don't. Item. Take. Antidote. Ha! <laughs> it's like it was like, oh, please. Help. <laughs> Let's level up Popeye a little bit. Hmm. Actually, I'll try to level up Nightfang some more. Primarily because... Ah, uh, this is probably a bad idea. Because you're a Rock-type user, aren't you? If the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top! Hmm. We only have one. It's only a level 8 Geodude. We'll give Nightfang a shot, but since it, like, inherently has, like, better defense against uh, normal-type attacks, I don't think it'll help much. Yeah, not very good. What's Mudsport do? I don't even have an Electric-type. I don't even think it's possible to get an Electric-type this early. No... Well, I guess Shane's gonna get a workout number two. I could have sent out Popeye, but eh. Bullet Seed. And all it took was one. One volley and it's dead. I mean, the, the level difference is pretty big, but still. Ugh, Lucy made me tired. Your Pokemon was the one that was doing the fighting, though. How does that work? You lazy man. How many orange berries do we have? We have a decent amount of orange berries. We'll give one. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Spicy, dry, sweet, bitter, sour. Huh. Here. Ah, but it's yet another hiker man. Well, I guess Shane's gonna get another workout. We'll rock you hard! I'm gonna kill your entire family. Hiker Devon. Does he often have to say, no, no I'm not that kind of Devon, I don't work at the corporation. And Shane might just level up from all this. And why do you only have Geodudes? Alright, another Bullet Seed. You think after the first Geodude he'd just be like, Yeah, this isn't fun, I give up. Yeah, level up for Shane! Pursuit, huh? What is Pursuit? Inflicts bad damage if used on a foe switching out. Hmm. But most of the time, enemies don't swap out in this game. But it is a dark type attack. Hmm. But there isn't really a move I'd want to get rid of. Absorb is nice to, like... Gain, regain health during a stronger fight. Bullet Seed is good to wipe out weak enemies, or like enemies weak to grass. And Pound is a good uh, thing to when going up against an enemy that's like 
if I don't want to use Bullet Seed, I don't need to reabsorb health, but I want to do damage. But at the same time, it does have a power of 40 as opposed to, hmm. But it has less power points, and it's a dark type. And I don't know... Hmm. And I don't know the things that are, like, strong against dark type. Huh. And again, I don't really see that many people in, like, the NPCs in this game, like, switch out Pokemon. Hmm. If it were easier to relearn moves, I would definitely give it a try, but I don't even know if there's, like, a Pokemon, like, ooh, would you like to remember a move from your Pokemon's past? Uh, sorry, Pursuit, I'm forgetting you. Ay ay ay! No contest at all! Literally. Oh, it's evolving! And we're gonna let it ride. Because I know that there are, like, a few times where if you let a, po like, lower-level, well, lower-evolution Pokemon go on, they can learn moves faster, but eh, I don't really care about that optimization. Grovile! He has entered the chat. Ooh, Fury Cutter. Huh. Well, let's take a look at Fury Cutter. It's a bug-type move. Attack that intensifies on each successive hit, but it's a bug-type move. And I don't really know there's that many things that are weak to bug that I want to hit with a grass-type. So yeah, I'll stop learning for Yuri Keller. And again, we shall try and level up Night Fang some. Cut down this tree. Kill it. Kill it now. What's this? Trainer tips. Your bag has several pockets. Items you obtain are automatically placed in the appropriate pockets. No trainer can afford to be without a bag of their own. Tunnels, tunnelers rest home. Ah, uh, what's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools and some goon ordered me out. That tunnel's filled with Pokemon that react badly to loud noises. That could cause an uproar. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling. I'm worried that what that, that goon will do something stupid and startle the Pokemon into an uproar. I want to get into a double battle of some fools. Just because I can. Of which I should move things around so Zoom and Night Fang can fight together. want to look about. See how I can maneuver to get into as many double battles as possible. Because it's a new feature that's added, and I'm going to use it. I found an ether. What even is ether? Found three panap berries. What's a panap berry? We'll put some more berries in, I suppose. Yeah, I don't re I don't remember a Penap berry. Some of these berries I remember because they're used in Legends Arceus. Some Pekka berry because we need more poison resistance. We'll have to take a look at Penap. What is a Penap berry? Pokey block ingredient? Interesting. What's a pokey block? Heals paralysis. Guess we'll plant our last Lepa because we haven't really used him much. And our person berry. And now let's water them all because it's just common courtesy for the berries.
Although I just realized, I wonder if there are any Pokemon that only come out at night. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. Because it doesn't feel like they've been going. Oh, wait, but then you're going to come up and fight me. So I don't feel like there's a good way to get into a yeah double battle here. We all, we learn all sorts of things at the trainer school. I want to test things out for real. Well, go do your taxes, Jerry. I'm going to annihilate you on principle. I forget. It was dark, powerful again. Well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't know a dark type move anyway. You better not know a psychic move. And now we're in a loop of doom. Well, kill. Game, I am going to annihilate your family. That was genuinely just so stupid. The game is like, oh, you use sand attack multiple times. We're not actually going to have it do anything. Oh, but just against a normal Pokemon enemy, all oh, you miss. The routes will gl grow tired of growling eventually. Will you stop? You are very bothersome. I wish I could steal your Pokemon. You are obviously mistreating your routes. It only knows one move. Kill it. It seriously only knows Growl, huh? Or it could be that Dark is immune to Psychic, because again, I'm not the best when it comes to, chi to the type chart. My brain is bleh sometimes, so maybe it literally doesn't know any move that isn't a Psychic attack. So it couldn't attack my Night Fang. I slacked off in school. That's why I lost. That's because you only have one Pokemon. That's more like it. You have one Pokemon, and it does nothing. Odd. Well, I'm surprised you didn't want to fight me. Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is. Your adorable Pokemon won't look adorable in a second. Especially because it's only one. Oh, hey, it's this bastard. Well, as usual, one howl and then we'll start annihilating you. Then again, I guess, I suppose that's also kind of mute, moot, because it's just going to... Oh, never mind, you're gonna use Tail Whip instead of, like, the Iron Curl. Or Defense Curl or whatever. And we got a critical hit. Hilarious. You are a failure and no one loves you. You're a notch above me. Yeah, I know how to attack. Time for a double battle. Just so you know, I've never once been beaten, bested by anyone at anything. I don't think I believe you. When you lay your eyes on a Pokemon's gorgeous fur, their beauty will render you helpless. Yeah, there are many Pokemon fans that agree with you. In many different ways. Lady Sarah and Rich Boy Dawson. A Lotad and a Zigzagoon. That's nah, a single target, so it's worthless. And you can headbutt the other one. And it's almost dead. <laughs> okay, Night Fang is just on a critical hitting spree, apparently. And now there's two Zigzagoon. Now there's two of them! You can finish off what you started, and you can headbutt the other one. You bastard. How very rude of you. Once again, finish off and kill. They just keep trading the ones that they're defeating. 
Ah, and a Poochian of your own. And now you're all alone. Nightfang leveled up, good job. And learned Bite, finally. A dark type move. Well, we're not gonna use it on that because it is dark type. And Zoom is just carrying this entire fight with Headbutt. But now that Nightfang knows Bite, it'll be good. Oh my goodness, this is a new experience for me. Oh baby, say it isn't so. And we got a lot of money for that. No, no, you must up my Pokemon's fur. You've ruined my hairdo too. I'll have to call my stylist now. Would you like a, a, a soothing spritz of potion? Rust Turf Tunnel, linking Rust Burrow and Verdant Turf. The tunnel project has been canceled. But that guy just only stopped. Oh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Ah, oh, Pico! Why is there a hole? There's a small indent in the wall. Yes, why? X special, another item that I'm never going to use. Another indent in the wall. Once again, why? Hmm. The problem now is that we're gonna be beset by ground and rock types in here. Oh hey, at least it's not like mean. Like other tunnels that we've... Ah. Well, Night Fang, let's test out your new bite attack. Odd that you had to learn it, but oh well. Nom. Ah, uh, that did decent damage. Then again, that thing is literally less than half your level, so... I guess it's not really that much of a... <laughs> not that much of a, uh... What's the word? Accomplishment. But still. And a Pokeball. Just one Pokeball. And let me guess. That guy stole Pico because we beat him before and he needs a new Pokemon. Now this one is at least not half your level. By one level. Also helps that you are an odd level and it is also an odd level. Aha, it flinched. Bite it again. Let's make it that Pokemon Origins episode where Red gets scared. Because his Charmander is just getting eaten alive. What, are you coming? Come and get some, then! Pee-pew! Grr, kill all at all! That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless! And to think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere! Hey, you! So you wanna battle me? Once again, I love that transition. You still have only one Pokemon! Uh, the problem is, Bite probably won't help me here. I swear, game, if I get, like, super locked by sand attack, by the enemy sand attack, I will eat your programming. Also, I just noticed the Aqua Grunt fight music is really good. One miss. Don't you miss again, please. Game, you are being a bastard. Good. And a critical hit when it doesn't even matter. Ha! Ah, my career in crime comes to a dead end! <laughs> you can have a career in crime? This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy jump to pool. All I had to do was steal some packets from Devon. Tch, you want it back that badly? Take it. And I put away the goods. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? 
Ah, so you're Neon, I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petalberg. Come, Pico, we should make our way to home. This is why you need to carry your Pokemon and balls. Ah, but we don't have Rock Smash, so we can't continue. A level five, this is hardly worth killing, but we'll do it anyways. Kill! Ah, he didn't use Uproar. Interesting. We must escape. Can you continue now? Ah, the goofy goon hightailed it out of the tunnel. I can go back to digging. To get to Verdant Turf without using this tunnel, you'd have to cross the sea to Duford, sail on to Slateport, and then travel through Marville. The Rust Turf Tunnel there. At first, we had a huge work crew boring through rock with the latest machinery, but we had to stop. Turns out that would have had an, a negative effect on wild Pokemon in the area. So we've got nothing to do but loll around here doing nothing. There's a man digging his way to Verdant Turf all by his lonesome. He's desperate to get through. He says that if he digs little by little without using machines, he won't disturb Pokemon and he'll avoid harming the natural environment. I wonder if he made it through yet. See, that's a noble goal. He cares about the environment. We'll cut down the trees and jump off so we can avoid the wild Pokemon. Because I doubt we're going to run into another Abra. Hilarious that our first wild encounter in this area was an Abra. And then it's just like, I'm going to escape from this great vault. Yeah. Hurt my feelings. I didn't even know there was a super potion there. I just thought, hmm, I wonder why there is just an out of the way place here. I'm going to click on it. And then I did. And then I got a super potion. I have your goods. Oh, how did it go, the Devon Goods? You did! You got them back! You really are a great trainer. I know as my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Congratulations, you have uh, rewarded me as much as my Professor Zoom has. Excuse me, please, please come with me! This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us, could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? It'd be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, could I count on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right, could you wait here a second? Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Who is your president? He looks like an old man. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport Shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off on Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen and Duford. Sure, you don't have, a, like, a Pokemon you can deliver that? <laughs> like an Abra? Teleport it there? Now you should know that I'm a great president, so I'd never be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this! Pokenav? That device? It's a Pokemon Navigator, or Pokenav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the location of Duford and Slayport easily. By the way, I've heard that sinister criminals, Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble far and wide. I think it would be best if you rested up before going on your way. Well then, Neon, go with caution and care. Now we have a Pokenav. Condition? <laughs> Put away the Pokenav. Check all Pokemon in detail. Interesting. Wait, does this mean that we... Does this mean there are Pokemon contests in this? Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder if we can go to Fallaber. Or if we have to go to Duford. We'll have to see. Thank you, Mr. Stone. We'll be on our way. I wonder what's in this case. It's a collection of rare rocks and stones assembled by the president. Well, he, he is called Stone. 
So maybe he is just like stones. It's empty. I'm developing new kinds of Pokeballs, but I haven't made much headway. Oh, wow, that's a Pokenav. It came about as a result of our president's desire to learn about the feelings of Pokemon. Would you like me to describe the features in detail? No, no, I think you'll find it just by trying the Pokenav out. How very rude to offer and then stop. A blueprint of some sort? It's too complicated. We're developing a device for talking with Pokemon. But we haven't had much success. It hasn't, I don't think that's even become a thing in later games. I'm trying to develop a device that visually rep reproduces the dreams of Pokemon, but it's not going well. This entire company feels like it's not doing well. Well now, what shall I work on developing next? Our company allows us to make our inspirations into reality. One couldn't ask for a better environment as an engineer. I've been trying to develop a device that re resurrects Pokemon from fossils. And it's working! Of course it is, because that's already happened! Hi there, you're always welcome here. Hello and welcome to the Devon Corporation. We're proud producers of items and medicine that enhance your life. It sounds like they've recovered the ripped off Devon goods. You work here. They were your Devon goods. I've been developing an added feature for the Pokenav, and it turned out great. Neon, may I see your Pokenav? The one the president gave you. There you go. I added a new feature named Match Call to your Pokenav. Using the Match Call feature, you can chat people who have been registered in your Pokenav. Neon, our president stone should be registered in your Pokenav. Test it out. Please give our president a call. So does that mean that uh, President Stone is a registered Pokemon man? Oh, Neon, since you called me, the Pokemon must be working properly. Other people will be registered, so try calling them up too. Good, good, you seem to be quite happy. Hmm? How could I know that? It's because I'm looking down at you from my office window. He is a weird man. <laughs> he became Waluigi. See you again. Okay, I'd better get back to work. Please take care. I'm gonna see what's up here. Probably more blocked stuff that, like, stop you. But there is a trainer. Exploring a cave isn't like walking on a road. You'd never know when wild Pokemon will appear. Or is this just like a blocked off place? Excuse me. A super potion. So this does appear to be a blocked off area. Very well then. I wonder. Well. So this is a way to return, not really go. You'd think that somebody would have been like, there's this little hill here. I'm going to mow it so that people can actually go up. Then again, if everybody has a flying Pokemon in the HM fly, maybe they... Oh, wait, I, I forgot. Stone already healed us. I'm a fool. My memory is failing me. Let's see. Zoom, have you found anything? Zoom has not found anything new. Then I suppose we shall make our way. To Mr. Briny. Oh, hey! Oh, hey, Neon! You had a match call feature put on your Pokenav. Cool! Let's register each other so we can get in touch anytime. Registered Brendan and the Pokenav. By the way, Neon, I walked by Mr. Briny in Petalburg Woods. I bet he was on his way to his cottage by the sea. How's your Pokedex? Have you filled any pages yet? Mine rules. Want to have to test out how far we've progressed? Sure. I know how... I know you just became a trainer, but I won't go easy. I have a full team. Do you? You have two Pokemon. You have a level 13 Lotad, so... Not bad. Bite attack. <laughs> I'm gonna use you to level up or like power up my night fang. And once again, I hear it. The horns of Hoenn. I'll howl once more. And I'll defeat that Lotad slowly but surely with my bite attack. I have potions to heal night fang as well. Now chomp on that salad. Yes, please. Keep hitting my dark type with a ghost attack. Your low tad is weak. That is why I replaced mine. Which sounds like something a villain would say in a Pokemon game. 
But it's... Come on. I ran into a Pokemon that liked me and did a better job than him. Level up for Night Fang. You're gonna suit soon out your Torchic. My Pokemon. You know what? I'm gonna have fun with you. I already leveled up mine. Well, I guess you're one away as well. Leer! And now, smack him. No real use in using uh, Absorb to heal, because it wouldn't do much damage in the first place. Why don't you know a fire attack? Use Ember Torchic! Brendan, you are a terrible trainer. You're pretty good. By the way, do you know Mr. Briny, the guy I just passed? I bet you didn't know this, but since you just moved here, Neon. But Mr. Briny was once a great sailor. I think I heard about that. By the way, <laughs> I'm going to repeat what I just told you. And now I can go and reheal my Pokemon since we got into a Pokemon fight. And here I thought that throwing Shane out to fight the Torchic would go bad. I wonder if you, like, lost to him the first match. If his Torchic would have been evolved because it got more experience or something. Well, goodbye. You fool. And those have not been grown yet. Well, on we go back to this place. And we can cut. Which might be a shortcut. Might just be another place to explore. Well, there's another trainer. That we can annihilate. Yes, yes, yes. Growl all you like. We'll annihilate you and then swap somebody in, else in to get some experiences. Probably our Talo, Nickel. They haven't gotten much fighting in yet. Because I've been focusing on Zoom and Nightfang. Granted, they're not going to get super much experience since we're going through a low-level place. I think also Archie and Popeye are, like, the lowest on the r rankings and will be replaced if we find something. A tiny mushroom? What is a tiny mushroom? What is a tiny mushroom? A plain mushroom that would sell at a cheap price. Could I plant it and make a big mushroom that sells for a big price? Oh, neat! That's the badge from Rustboro Gym. You must be a trainer. You should try using this item. What's well, a miracle seed? What does it do? It's a Miracle Seed. If a Pokemon holds that item, its Grass-type moves become stronger. Besides Miracle Seed, I think there are other convenient items for Pokemon to hold. Well, let's see what the bag has to say. Yep, raises the power. I'm gonna give it to my boy. Quick Claw's been good for you, but this is so much better for you. And now we're gonna give this Quick Claw to somebody else. How about Night Fang? Night Fang could use the extra speed. Thank you, lady. You're very kind. And I guess she also would give, like, a different item. Like, depending on the Pokemon that you have. So there would probably be, I don't know, a miracle matchstick for Torchic. A miracle cup of water for Mudkip. I found another Great Ball. Congratulations, Devon Corporation man. You are worth uh, the same as the ground. Another shroomish. It shall die. Kill it. And now it is dead, and all shall rejoice. So yeah, it kind of was shortcut into a different area. It is a wemple. Kill the wemple. Make it scream. Can worms scream? I don't think they have vocal cords. Hello and welcome to the horrible show that 
goes against all laws. Today we will find out, can animals scream? Beginning with a human. Kill the Silcoon. It must die. I do like its design. It does seem very nice. It just seems interesting. Now we're gonna check out this, like, blank spot. Knew it. Another tiny mushroom. What even are you? What is your purpose? What is your favorite color? Ah, oh, we can go this way as well. Hip, hip, hooray. And I just realized technically we're on the wrong side. Oh, Mr. Briny. He's chasing after the bird. Oh, hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. You're Neon. You saved my darling Pico. We owe you so much. What's that? You want to sail with me? Hmm. <laughs> you have a letter bound for Duford and a packet for Slateport then? Quite the busy life you must lead. But certainly, what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man. We'll set sail for Duford. Duford it is. Anchors away, Pico. We're settling sail, my darling. Let's-a go. This is a fast boat. But we just passed some trainers. I want to fight them. Oh, Neon, where are you now? Sounds windy wherever you are. I just heard from Devon's Mr. Stone about m your Pokenap, so I decided to give you a call. It sounds like you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. You take care now. Well, <laughs> registered dad, Norman. That, that's a weird way to put it. It's just like familial relation name. Can't wait till I learn surf so I can, like, fight all those people. Ahoy! We've hit land in Duford! I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to who, uh, was it now? Stephen! Hello, people. Wow, you bothered to cross the sea to visit Duford. Did you maybe come here because you heard about Brawly? He's so cool, everyone idolizes him. Gorge your eyes on this! It's a silk scarf. It's right at the cutting edge of fashion, yeah? I can see your eyes twinkling. You appreciate my dazzling style. Oh, you're a delight. Here you go. You can have it. Thanks. Weird man. What is a silk scarf? Well, I can't give it... I can't give it to... I can't give it to Zoom because Zoom picks up items for me. Well, if I find a normal... Well, maybe I could put it on before... It's just hard to tell because, hmm, do I even need to? Not really. Because I would like to, before dungeon, like dungeon, before like gym battles and stuff. Duford is a tiny island community. If something gets trendy here, everyone picks up on it right away. This is a renowned fishing spot. Are you getting the itch to fish? Yes, I hear ya and I like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. I forget there, I, for some reason I think I remember there being a weird thing where, like, the older rod might be better than some of the newer rods in one of the games, I forget. And as an added bonus, I'll even throw in a little fishing advice. First, you want to face the water, then use the rod. Focus your mind. If you get a bite, pull on the rod. Sometimes you can snag something immediately, but with bigger catches, you need to, uh, time to pull the, uh, time the pulls on your rod to hold them in. Interesting. Do for town, Pokemon Gym, Brawly, a big wave and fighting. My Grove Isle will annihilate you. Maybe. There's a lot to be said for living on a small island like this in harmony with Pokemon and the family. I left the major part of Slateport City when I married my husband here. Life goes by slowly on this little island, but being surrounded by the beautiful sea, that's happiness too. Get go. Mom, I like this program. Better get going. I look at a TV. There's something on. I don't know what it is. I just say, Mom might like this program. Well, let's see. For the first time, let us old rod.
And what are you? A Magikarp. A level 10 Magikarp. But I don't want to use a Gyarados again. Kill it. All you know is Splash. Then again, what I expect, I was using the old rod at the immediate first time I could do it. And I suppose what we could do is hopefully have, like, some of our Pokemon. Why are Magikarp so useless as experience? It hurts my soul. Oh, wait, I forgot to, like... Have I gone in there yet? I don't know. I like what's hip happening in Trinity. I'm always checking it out. Listen, have you heard about this new Perfection News? That's right, of course you know. I mean, she's Perfection News. It's the hottest thing and cool. Wherever you're from, Perfection News is the biggest thing happening, right? Sure. Yeah, absolutely right. Perfection News is the definition of in right now. Maybe I should say no. Just to see what he says. No. Huh? It's not the hip happening thing? Well, hey, you have to tell me what's n new and what's in. <laughs> oh, we got to, I guess. Well. What's hip? Is Pokemon Pokemon. No. Because there was... Pokemon Emerald, because you are literally in Pokemon Emerald. Huh? Pokemon Emerald? Oh, yeah, that's right. I knew that. Knew it all along. Of course I know about that Pokemon Emerald, right? Yeah, that's it. It's there, isn't it? Pokemon Emerald, the coolest or what? It's the hippest thing in hip. You think I know about it? Perfection news. It's like so five minutes ago. Now, for Pokemon Emerald, it's, well, it's vital and in tune with the times. This guy is pathetic. I could probably have said Egg Egg, and he would have lost his mind. There's a stone cavern at the edge of town. I've heard you can find rare stones there. Even if a Pokemon faints and can't battle, it can still use a move learned from a hidden machine. If it can't move, then how can it move? I don't trust you. Do for it all. Everyone's information exchange. What's in vogue? Why, it has to be Pokemon Emerald. I can't imagine what life would be like with a Pokemon Emerald. I have started a cult. I'm teaching my Pokemon about Pokemon Emerald, but it's not going well. It's a bit too much, I think. I know, existential. <laughs> Being like, we're in a video game to an animal. I'm studying up on the hip and trendy Pokemon Emerald now. Is it true that there's a deep link between Pokemon Emerald and Promise? No. What? Is that so? It's not easy for an older fellow to keep up with the trends. Across the sea, is Pokemon Emerald even more popular? I've created a cult. <laughs> this whole business about Pokemon Emerald. Isn't there a TV show on it? I collect official Pokemon Emerald licensed merchandise. I have official Pokemon Emerald dolls, official Pokemon Emerald brand clothing, and officially licensed Pokemon Emerald pictured books. Eh, I own. I'm not sharing anything with you. It's because they don't exist. I saw Pokemon Emerald. Cool, huh? It's like the coolest thing going. It was awesome. It was the real thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That, that alleged Pokemon Emerald you claim to have seen, it's not the authentic article as much, how should I say it, sharper, yet more mellow, and no matter. It's astonishing. They're all insane. <laughs> I just made it up. <laughs> what do people do if they need to go to a washroom? What if my rod hooks a big one while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. You are a strange man. Would you like to hear about the new hip thing, Pokemon Emerald? Ah, seems like cool. The first time we've run into one of you, kill. Let me guess, you're gonna poison my nickel. Every single time! At least this should level you up as long as you don't die. Why is the damage variance that big? It did, like, a third damage, then did, like, two-thirds damage. At least you're gonna level up. Good for you, Nickel. Trying to learn wing attack. I'm going to give you... In place of quick attack.
And now we're gonna have to go heal you. Jesus Christ, you almost leveled twice! I lost because I'm trying to not go to the washroom. Probably. You'd think that Pokemon trainers that utilize poison moves would carry around antidotes to heal people's Pokemon that they've poisoned. Or is it like a spite thing? You won, but your Pokemon's poisoned, ha ha. That sounds like a jerk thing to do. You just know that they're, like, in the real world Pokemon, there are Pokemon trainers who would do that. The reason I was walking weird is because I was drinking some water. Trainer tips. Advice on catching Pokemon with a rod. Press the A button if you get a bite. <laughs> no shit. What do you prefer? Fishing in the sea or a stream? Well, I've only fished from the sea. Because I've only just now gotten my rod. Alright, we will kill your p Magikarp with Nickel and then we'll swap to someone else. But I can only assume that the rest of your Pokemon are Magikarp. How are you a trainer challenging people with Magikarp? Unless you... This is Pokemon abuse. This is Pokemon abuse. It has to be. Well, at least you're going to send out an actual Pokemon this time. And we shall send out Zoom. Come on out, Professor. Only a level 7, kill it. How dare you get my hopes up thinking you actually had something. Mm, we could. You can stay in and kill the Magikarp too. I would love if, like, early on in a Pokemon game, of, like, in this kind of area, r around the first gym, or second gym, there was a fish trainer who had a level 99... Magikarp. I think that would be hilarious. Like in deep sea fishing, I lost spectacularly. So you prefer river fishing. Fishing's great, but it's but so is battling. If you don't mind, can we meet again? I didn't even get to say no. But now we're going to see. For some reason, my brain is doing badly. My timing has been off. What did you find, you little scamp? Another full heal. See, this is why I can't give you the normal diddly D, because then you won't find items like that. I swear, I'm getting intuition to where hidden items are, and I'm probably missing a million others. Well, into a cave we go. Ah, but if it's a cave, then that means that... Probably not... Hmm... I guess we can have Nightfang try things. Hey you, it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. The guy who came by earlier, Steven I think it was, he knew how to use Flash, so he ought to be alright, but... Well, for us hikers, helping out those that we meet is our motto. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you. Ah, I'm gonna have to make someone else use Flash. It lights up even the inky darkness of caves, but to use it you need the gym badge from Dufoot's Pokemon Gym. Well, looks like we're gonna have to go beat up a Pokemon gym. Ooh! I think I might like to catch you. Because you evolve into... I forget his name. It's basically... Uh... It's basically E. Honda from... Uh, Street Fighter. You're coming with me. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Now the question is, do I want to swap... Oh, yeah, we're going to swap you out. You you can replace Archie. Makuhita, the Guts Pokemon. It loves to toughen up its body above all else. If you hear quaking rumbles in a cave, it's the sound of Makuhita undertaking strenuous training. But what should we call you? The funny answer would be better, Archie, but... I guess we could call you Jughead. 
because... No, not that. Because that also fits. Just don't cause the zombie apocalypse, okay? Of course, this also means that he'll be... Granted, he's only two level... Well, I didn't even look at their gender. But Jughead is only two levels lower than our Archie, so... Isn't the worst to swap him out now. Goodbye, Archie. You're just too weak for my caring. And then we shall withdraw. Jughead. Then again, what about our slack off? Because maybe it would be good for... Nah, I forget. I don't even know what it, like, uh, evolves into, like, type-wise. I suppose we should heal just that little bit. Restore some power points as well. Then we'll move uh, Jughead into first place and swap out to somebody else to try and power level Jughead a bit. Then again, we could probably pit Jughead against other Pokemon. Well, you are mean. Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Neon? Doofert's gym leader Brawly commands fighting type Pokemon. Going against him with normal type Pokemon is going is asking for trouble. Fighting Pokemon will lay a serious smackdown on normal Pokemon, so be careful. What's worse, the gym is as dark as the ocean floor, but it will get brighter after defeating the trainers in your way. Hey, okay, go for it. Well, in that case, I'll move Zoom so that Zoom doesn't like accidentally gets drawn into a double battle. Is there a hidden item? There is not. I've been cheated by a wall. If we follow the wall, we'll get somewhere. And we did. The interesting music. Might is right! Come on! Well, my might says die. Nice high kick, is that all you know? Well, we'll swap out... ...for Night Fang. Power leveling in here might be a bad idea. What? I guess it's a normal dark type. That explains it. How dare you. I shall send Shane in. Because I don't think Nickel would be a good Pokemon to fight you with. Bullet Seed. Get multiple in a row. Go all the way. Three times works. Because I didn't look at Night Fang's actual typing. I probably should have. Lower my defense all you want. You're still gonna fail. Why are you only using Leer against Shane all of a sudden? And Jughead leveled up. Good for you, Jughead. I wonder if it re the darkness resets if we leave. So I want to heal Night Fang. If only because if I get the urge to power level them in here. Like, doubtful, but I just like it. Like the idea. I do find it amusing that you can just leave whenever, and the Pokemon people that you've beaten will just be like, Oh, yeah, that yeah, works. But it looks like my ace, Shane, will be carrying us through most of this. Nope, it stays! Because, yeah, this leads to a dead end. I'm still gonna continue on my path. But in that case, let's see, what is your typing? 
No, it's a dark type, so I guess fighting is good against dark type as well. And for some reason, I remember it also being good against birds, so yeah, we literally only have Shane to use for this, <laughs> for this run. And this just leads to a dead end. Just gotta follow the wall. Follow the wallow. If you mean to pass, it has to be through me. And if we do get to the boss man, we'll have to leave. Well, another Makuhita. Good for you. I mean, if I wanted to, I guess I could throw Nickel out just to see, but... We won't risk that on a switch. Game, I swear if you make this work against me, I will hurt you. Oh, why do the enemy's sand attacks always win? It seems stupid, game. I just find it very silly that when I do multiple sand attacks against an enemy, nothing. When the enemy uses sand attack against me, I miss every other turn. Oh, fuck off, game. That's honestly stupid. That better not kill. That's honestly so fucking stupid. I hate it. Why do I miss every single fucking time the enemy does one? One sand attack. I do multiple, they don't miss once. Sand attack is a fucking rigged move. Fuck off, game! I'm getting a fucking annoyed. Will you fucking stop, you cunt? I'm very pissed off, mostly because, again, if I also benefited from the goddamn bullshit, it wouldn't be that bad, but the game is being an asshole. Let's test this out. How is a fighting type weak against... I think I had the same reaction in Pokemon Yellow. Where I'm just like, why, why do fighting types weak against... Not. Like, birds. Why are they weak? Do fighters just not like flying? But again, I'm very upset at the game for having a double standard with sand attack. I use it, nobody misses anything. They use it, I miss everything. It's fucking rigged. Does game... At this point, maybe I should just start making save states when an enemy uses sand attack. And if I miss more than once, I'd be like, okay, then I will just restart my save state and throw somebody else out if you're gonna be that mean game. But let's try and level up some other people. Like, I guess I could power level Nickel a bit. By having Nickel be the breadwinner of this gym. Don't you dare brush me off. It's not my fault if you cry. I'm gonna make you cry. You are going to be Brittany from the second generation. You only have one Pokemon. Is that a psychic fighting type? I'm gonna kick your ass. What's Detect do? What does Detect do? Well, I'm just gonna do it again! So quit trying to confuse the bird. Wait, well, I lost! Knew you'd cry. You meringue. And I'll throw Shane in first, see if he can get some experience from combat. Just wander around, find people to fight. Ah, shit, this is a double battle. Woohoohoo! Are you stumbling around in the dark? Then again, this will work out perfectly because Nickel is in there too, I think. I'll show you the gumption of a sailing man. 
I'm gonna kill you, Popeye, and I'm gonna turn your arms into drumsticks. And you only have one each. Kill that one. You kill that one. And a critical hit to boot. Hilarious. I'm gonna focus energy. I'm going to spit seeds at you. Let's see how many we go for fun. Go for four. Go for four. Three times. That seems to be my average. Imagine being shot with a machine gun and then a bird just slaps you with wind. And a level increase for Nickel. Oh, you. I don't know. I don't want to know you. How'd this happen? It's not like me to lose this way. And now that'll be a double increase to my sight. I'm going to swap in... I, I should probably still be power leveling Jughead. And then we'll just power level... With... Not that. You should be the first one, in my opinion. We'll use Nickel to power level... Jughead a bit. Just wanted to make sure Zoom didn't have any items. Yeah, we already went through here. Fight me, lady. There's no need for Brawly to be involved. I'll crush you. I'm going to also make you cry. Why does every single one of you have just a medite? Seriously, you're typecasting yourself. Well, at least you didn't... ...protect yourself, because... Well, then again, I think protect only works if you go first. <laughs> you meditated for death. Good for you. And learned arm thrust. Now it's fighting with the big boys. But how? How could he lose so easily? And hilariously, that is actually correct. You did lose easily. And then once again... Oh, hey! We'll power level Nightfang a bit, because I like Nightfang, and I want him to be good. Another full heal. Who needs to go to the store when you have a Pokemon? And yeah, that seems to be all of them. I'm going to save just in case you're an asshole. Just in case. Well, I'm Brawly, Duford's gym leader. I've been churned in the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough in the pitch black cave. So you wanted to challenge me? Let me see what you're made of. Wait a minute. I should have used... I should have been using Nightfang to fight their frickin' Medites, because they're part psychic. I'm a fool. Go Nickel! Well, that's not good. That's basically half your health. Hmm. I'm worried. So I shall use a super potion. That is over half your health. That's not fair, game. It's very annoying. I should have you done more grinding. Will you kindly stop? How many... Use a different move! Pump yourself up or something! Pump yourself up or something! Because if I don't do that... This is just annoying! 
because I can't do anything else unless except for like swapping to a different Pokemon. I'm just gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna use another super potion. How about that, Brawly? <laughs> Remember the V I was telling you about? I finally found it. Huzzah! And of course you get a critical hit because you're an asshole game. I should reload just because you've been an asshole. That's so stupid. Use a different move, you bastard. Oh, now you use a different move. Fuck you. You are just a very annoying individual, aren't you? Do you remember the video? I don't think I do, it's been a bit. And my brain just goes five million different ways. Yep, I'm gonna have to restart because the game is an asshole. I'm gonna use Karate Chop and just Karate Chop. Guess that means I have to go do some grinding against you. Either that or get lucky. Let's see. No power leveling against you. No fun for the world. Because I highly doubt anybody else would do good against you. Might as well give it another try, doing it diddly dee. Let's try. It was about Phoenix even though he proved the client didn't do the murder. He still has to find the real guy who did it. So it's just like, ah, so you proved that he isn't guilty. But unless you find the guy who is guilty, we'll just figure him guilty anyway. Seems crazy. Ah, we're going to send out Medite, then I'll send out Nightfang and see if we can play it like this. We'll test a thing out, because I think that you're part psychic type. Which means that dark should destroy you. Bite it. Nope. But I flinched anyway. Because I think I turned links off, so you could just, like, share the title. At the very least. And should be able to go through that. I'll add a normal potion to nickel so that things go bad, things go good. It's tightening its focus and used focus puns. Ah, so that's what that's about. Well, Nightfang is dead. Personally, I feel like since it's part psychic, it should diddly dee. Phoenix is so done, is what the video is called. That does sound accurate. <laughs> does seem like the perfect title for a scenario like that. And a Makuhita. While you are fighting against a gym leader who is very mean, remember to stay hydrated. Well, I guess we'll just continue with Nickel as far as we can go. Yep, level 19. Should have done more Grinding, I suppose. And you, goodbye, Nickel. You are dead. Somehow you're alive. Well, that is very mean. Kill it now! Get a crit! Damn. And another vital throw. Oh, so when they do super powerful attacks, they land. But when I do, I lose. How dare you? For funny ahas, let's send Jughead out. See, Jug, th that is who you could be in the future. Kill him. Probably should have done, like, sand attack. Just to mock the game, more than anything. Will this monster ten levels higher than you kill you with one hit? They do! 
Let's see if someone lower level can get the kill. I doubt Zoom, I doubt that you'll do it, but let's give it a try. Kill. Leader Brawly, you're an asshole. How dare you use a heal? That's so unkind of you. Especially since you gave your Pokemon a healing diddly D. Now, Popeye, we will give you a shot at killing this enemy. Do it and you may <laughs> cement your place. Ah, you supersonic. Maybe this is the secret all along. It's gonna vital throw you through that, isn't it? Reversal? I have not checked my whispers because I'm in the middle of a stream. <laughs> then again, I hardly check my whispers anyway because I never get whispers. <laughs> And somehow, it didn't even do that much damage to me. Reversal. Hmm. Well, since this is the ace... Hey, Shane, let's give you a taste of the ace. Since you didn't get to last time, because the nose pass was mean. Of course you snap out of your confusion now. What will Reversal even do now? Do a lot of damage, apparently. And a critical hit at the end! Congratulations, Shane. You get experience now. I'm trying to learn Pursuit. Nah, because again, we went over it. It just seemed a good... Why do you have to add double ask me, game? You made a much bigger splash than I expected. That's because I just decided to try again. You swamped me! Not really. I got lucky more than anything. Okay, you've got me. Take this gym badge. And then just gets rid of it all. Hilarious. And I received the knuckle badge. Does it come with the master emerald? The knuckle badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, even those you get in trades obey you without question. And you'll be able to use the ancient move Flash outside of battle. If you'd like, use the technical machine too. What is this technical machine? What move is it? Final throw? Contains bulk up. It's a move that raises both attack and defense. Does it... <laughs> and registered him in the Pokenav. Just unceremoniously. Which is like, yep, you are now added to my Pokenav. Oh, well, we better talk to the dude. Whoa! It's turned too bright in here! Your future is bright, too! That's all you have to say? Just... Funny little quips, funny little quip man? Well, that was my first definitive loss against a gym leader. Granted, again, the game was mean. How do fighting types... <laughs> Well, then again, I guess that kind of makes sense. Since they were fighting in the dark, fighting a dark type wouldn't be that much bad for it. But who should go in front? I guess we should put Zoom in front. Just to see. Oh, and we should also probably give somebody Flash. Let's see. Somebody has to learn Flash, even though I'm never going to use it in combat. That or cut. Damn it. Well, I guess I'm going to have to see if there's anybody in my system that can learn it. So I only want to take one out, which will probably be... Let's see. Deposit... We shall deposit you as we look for a Pokemon that can learn Flash. Let's see. Who looks like they can learn Flash? Maybe you. Come out, Def. We will test you. You can maybe make the world bright with sound. Nope. Really wish I could just run that across all the Pokemon in my system. Like, who do I own can learn this? I think that would be much better. Because 
I don't know anybody else who could potentially learn it. Maybe you, Archie, in a sense of grand irony? Would be nice if also the HM told you what kind of Pokémon could potentially learn it. It's a normal type. But that doesn't even really matter because not even Zoom can learn it. Why can only Shane learn the goddamn thing, game? This seems very dumb. I'm just gonna look it up. Pokémon Emerald, who can learn Flash. Seems silly to me. Really, it feels like one of those moves that anybody can learn. <laughs> I know one Pokemon can teach it. Uh, you can teach it too. It's available to you, but you haven't caught it yet. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Well, of course there's Abra, but I couldn't catch an Abra. But feel free to say it. Which Pokemon it doth be. <laughs> of course, Routes and Curlia. I won't spoil if you're trying to play it blind. Ah, but one person says Shroomish can learn it. And I've definitely caught a Shroomish. Why would a grass type be able to learn the normal type HM move? That doesn't seem very good of you, game. Unless that person's trolling me, but who knows? Come on, Shroomish, redeem yourself. Learn this move. So that only I ever have to carry you. Good. Here you go, dude. Learn Flash. <laughs> no, Shroomish learns it as well. <laughs> just as we have discovered. I just find it funny. It's just like, this is the normal move, Flash. Yet normal Pokemon Zoom, my Zigzagoon, cannot learn it. Because that makes sense, game. Another Abra! You dare taunt me with your existence? I forgot about the shroom. I think a lot of people do. Well, I doubt this will work, but let us go crazy. I'm gonna throw another great ball at you. It won't catch you, but fuck it. You dare taunt me. Hi, ah, that actually worked. Abra, the Psy Pokemon, a Pokemon that sleeps 18 hours a day. Observation revealed that it uses teleport to change its location once every hour. You shall be Merlin 2, in honor of my Pokemon Crystal Merlin. Merlin... The second. Is there anybody I would like to swap out for the psychic type? Maybe Jughead? Because I'm not really a fighting type person. I guess I can go grab Merlin the second. Granted, at the same time, I'm just going to swap him out for a Routes the moment I get one. If I get one, it seems like that type of Pokemon to be super rare. So yeah, I'll just waddle along my current path. Watch me run into another Abra. And the game's like, no, use this. Another Makuhita. I don't think this one knows a fighting move. Kill it. Bully this fighter that doesn't know how to fight. And I found an escape rope. I have like three of these because of Zoom. Down we go. Dude, activate your power that you have been brought for. How a mushroom brightens things up. Is it a, is it a weed joke game? Have you doth made weed joke at me? I already have one of you. 
Abra, kill it! Not Abra, zoom! Ah, I didn't actually expect you to get, actually land that hit. But now level up for you. Level up for zoom. Because I want to use Nightfang to level him up, but it feels like... Hmm. I guess we could throw... Hmm, I don't know. Because Jughead is weak and... Eh, bah, bah, bah. What? Is that just a, a mud ramp? Why is there a mud ramp in this world? Ooh, an Aeron! I don't know if steel type's good though. <laughs> That's a critical hit. That's hilarious. Well, I'll send out Nightfang. See if Bite does anything. Because I'm gonna try and capture you just because your evolution line's interesting to me. I don't think I'll use you, but I might as well try. Game, you are very mean. Once again, I use accuracy attack things. They never miss. They use accuracy attack things. They always make me miss. The game is rude. Just keep making a flinch. With the power of flinching, this little one will never be able to escape. And we shall throw a Pokeball. Just so that we can have you as a possibility, maybe. How dare you. We'll use one more attack. Now get in the ball, and stay there. Be teleported through technology. How dare you? Well, since we're probably for a little bit longer, I'm going to use a heal. So that you don't get, like, a crit and kill Nightfang. Another bite, because it should... Game, how dare you again? They use accuracy moves. I always miss. I use accuracy moves. They never miss. It is very rude game. Third Pokeball. Get in. Maybe it heard me talking about not using it so it doesn't want to get in the Pokeball. That's entirely possible. Aaron, Iron Armor Pokemon, a Pokemon that is clad in steel armor. A new suit of armor is made when it evolves. The old discarded armor is salvaged as metal for making iron products. Hmm. What shall we call you? I don't know why, but it amuses me, so we shall call you... Where is it? We shall call you Steel. It doesn't want to be trapped in the eternal prison known as the Pokemon PC. Well, if it wanted that, it shouldn't have been such a hard ass. You want to live a full life? Don't hurt me. So now we only wasted two Pokeballs, I suppose. Basically in the same place. Let me guess. Another Aaron. It is another Aaron. Well, I suppose this would be the perfect time for Makuhita to get us some licks in. Come out, Jughead. Use your Pokemon fighting prowess to punch this bastard. Now to miss five million times in a row, because that only happens to me. Of course you get a critical hit.
Did that steal. Did that steal. Quit slapping my Makuhita with mud. You will not be allowed into the dojo again. Goodbye. You have been hit one time by arm thrust. And for not bad experience points at that. And deeper we go. The Granite Cave. I can only assume many people have taken this cave for granite. And Zoom has found an item. What is it? Is it a burn heal to mock me further? No, I don't want to give. I want to take. Uh, another antidote. There aren't even poison Pokemon down here, are there? There better not be. A Sableye! Mm, but I don't think I, I like... I like the Pokemon, but I don't know if it's good for, like, combat. I don't even know you're typing. You identified Nickel. You sure. But what are you going to do with that information? Nothing, because I'm going to put you into a Pokeball. You slut. You've done it again, but done what, I wonder? Because I know, I just know if I use, attack you again, I'm going to get a critical hit. You bastard. Fine, you want a great ball? I guess I can try and give you a great ball. What typing does my Talo have that it's immune to your attacks, I wonder? I gave you a great ball! Don't crit, please. You bitch. I gave it an opportunity. Gave it a great ball. And now that'll be the only Sable I ever meet. Well, time to smack you with some arm thrusts. I bring forth Jughead. The Great Steel Denter. Thrust your arm from side to side. Yes! One hit kill! Technically three hits, but still. One move. I guess I'll throw in Shane. Maybe he can get some value out of this place. Heal you a little bit. Just in case I throw you out and you don't instantly die. An Everstone. So if I never want a Pokemon to evolve, then I, it won't. I can only assume that Steel types are not weak to grass. Would be amusing if they were, though. At least they are not, like, evil about it. Well, I guess use Bullet Seed. Go for four million. Use your Miracle Seed on that Bullet Seed. Only two times. Disappointing. <laughs> Only one damage. Go forth, and murder. Whenever I see an Everstone, I always think of that one trade in Gen 4. I, I think I heard about it. It's like a trade mo Pokemon, and you trade them, and they're like, Oh, it didn't evolve because I gave you an Everstone Pokemon, ha <laughs> ha. Which is just mean. 
Feels like something you could sue over. Another Sableye. I wonder if you will be wanting to come today. I will shoot you with gun. So you just make a big version of yourself and you glare at me. Weird move. But the question is, will it go with us? Will it be an asshole? You get one Pokeball. If you do not take it, you will be annihilated. You don't even get a great ball because the one before you squandered that opportunity. If you have sealed your fate, you are going to die. Ready the firing squad. And potion. But I wonder whose decision it was to do that trade. Like, from the designers. Who was just like, I'm going to make the most annoying possibility possible. More shooting. Shoot the child. Focus all you want. You will die. And what could be already attacking me? Another Makuhita. It's like an army of them. I have wandered into their dojo, and they long for revenge. Oh boy, can't wait to miss five times in a row because of one sand attack. Do, 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 do. This really is just the Makuhita Dojo, isn't it? Punch it. Slam it. Stab it. Eat it. I wonder if there are laws against eating certain Pokemon in the Pokemon world. Because obviously some people eat Magikarp. Slowpoke Tails. But what about Makuhita? Are there crazy people who eat them? You can never know in the mad world of the Pokemon world. Once again, my brain is just like, ah, I pressed the up button, so obviously it must have moved up. Oh, hey, and uh, Zoom got a new item. Once again, don't want to give, I want to take. A super potion. Huzzah. And now that we exit the cave, presumably, let us put somebody else in front. Nope, we're still in the cave, but I don't think we'll get into fights. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me. I have handed over the letter. Okay, thank you. I went through all this trouble to deliver that. I should. I need to thank you. Let me see. I'll give you this TM. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. Huzzah! I'll have to decide carefully who to give that to. Your Pokemon appear quite capable. If you keep training, you could even become the champion of the Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. I know, since we've gotten to know each other, let's register one another in our Pokenavs. You have delivered a letter to me, and I have returned the favor by giving you a TM. We know each other now. Pokenav, activate. Now I've got to hurry along. Didn't even say goodbye. I gotta hurry along. Since we're on the upper level, we should only run into, like, Makuhitos that know no fighting moves. So, Zoom should be able to do fine against him. Maybe not get as, that all that much experience, but still, some experience. D 
destroy him. Harvest their energy. Well, now what? I guess we can just head back to the man, because we delivered the letter. Yo, Mr. Briny. Maybe take us to, like, the next place. Slateport, I believe. And then we'll probably have to do a ton of grinding over there. Ahoy! For you are good to see any time. Take me to Slateport. Slateport, is it? Oh, Ginkas away, Pico. We're setting to sail, my darling. Because we don't know Surf yet, which is kind of cool. They allow you to go on an adventure over the sea without having Surf just yet. Ahoy! We've made land in Slateport. I suppose you're going to visit Captain Stern and deliver the Devon goods. Our sandcastle's taking a long time to make. You can have this. You gave me sand. What is it? I know it's sand, but what kind of sand? What does it do? What does it exist? Raises the power of ground type moves. I don't have ground type in my party just yet. Oh, you want to fight? I've laid anchor in ports all around the world, but slave ports are the best. Is that a euphemism? Are you gonna be like my 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 Pokemon are better than your Pokemon? Kill his Pokemon now. Head butted out of the sky. Go headbutt. Kill it. Yes. Even with confusion, you can't confuse my zoom. You're gonna send out Machop, are you? Well, you know what? Screw you. I'm gonna send out Nickel. My Nickel will kill your Machop. At this rate, I probably will, like, be using Nickel for a while. So maybe I should give them the Steel Wing. You're the best! I can just ha lounge on people's <laughs> lounge chairs. May hot battles rage on hot sands, the place for hot trainers. Is that a euphemism? I long for my Night Fang to be able to do fighting. Yo, trainers, whether you're hot to trot or cool cat nod, chill at my papa's spot. Are you insane? I'm thirsty. I could go for a soda pop at the seashore house. You are going to die out here. <laughs> my favorite character in the mainline Pokemon right there. I assume it means Steven. He did seem to have a... Well, though we haven't really seen him, he did seem to have a... All right. Why does Zigzagoon no surf? It's just very odd. Flinch the bastard into a million years. But I wonder what role he'll have to play in the story. Or if he'll just exist to deliver a package to. Uh. You wanted a soda pop, so you decided to fight me. Will you have another match of me when I'm not all thirsty? And once again, I don't even get to say no. The child is just like, I'm thirsty. I want to fight you again sometimes. Once again, my brain just has decided to say, is that a euphemism? Give me your item. Let's see what it is. Another escape rope. <laughs> Doesn't a beach umbrella look like a giant flower? No, it looks like the Umbrella Corporation. This child must be eliminated. Why is your Azuril, like, a higher level than, like, other Azumaril I've seen? Or Meryl. Or whatever. He's mostly my fave because of the remakes. Ah! It'll be interesting to see once I play the remakes, then. Nom on the, the, the child. Kill it. Eat it. Shane, kill these children. 
You dare give me low experience despite your level? Fine then. <laughs> Firing squad. How dare you also not be affected by super effective. Because you should be a water type. I guess you're so pathetic you're not even a water type. You're probably just a normal type. Eat it, soul. Be gone, Azuril. Be gone into the hells. Mommy! I failed in a fight that I instigated. Why am I adding all the children? Is this just a ambush? It feels like it. I feel like they were intending to catch me in a double battle and they failed. Just like that supersonic. Your supersonic failed. That's gonna poison Nightfang, isn't it? Ah, somehow it didn't. Bite again. Keep chewing on that calamari. And let me guess. Now it's poisoned. Because the world is cruel. How dare you poison my man. How dare you keep trying to poison him. He's already poisoned. Almost a level for the boy. We'll keep him out and swap somebody else in. But who should we throw in? We'll throw in Zoom, so Zoom can get some experience. Well, last time Zoom was able to headbutt through confusion, so hopefully they can do it again. Headbutt. I have my faith in you. Good job, Zoom. When I think about it, where are their parents? Or does parental supervision not exist in the Pokemon world? Considering that the whole premise is a 10-year-old gets a Pokemon and goes out on a journey, eventually fighting a criminal organization, I'm going to assume that in the Pokemon world, it's probably kind of based off of the idea of, like, I think it's a Japanese idea, where a young child like, is given a task to do, quote-unquote, on their own, but they're just being supervised from afar, so the child can, like, have the feeling of doing something on their own, that feeling of experience, uh, and, like, I'm trying to think of the word. Like, uh, yeah, being on their own and being able to stand on their own in a safe environment. So when a child goes out with a Pokemon partner, it's kind of like that. They can go out into the world with a good friend who watches over them. Because really, all these kids are just on a beach. Where there's a bunch of people and they have their Pokemon, so it's not like that terrible of a thing. Let's see... Uh, this is my last... Uh, once again, I do not want to check its tag. I want to use it. Poison no more. I'm being called. Oh, hello, Neon. This is Roxanne of Rustboro. I heard from Brawly that you're moving up through the ranks of trainers at an incredible clip. Well, I'd rather not think that I can't beat you. I promise I'll shape up my gym so that you may challenge us again. I hope you'll be looking forward to that occasion as much as me. And <laughs> they called me, and now I register them. So are these, like, fighters? They're fighters. Boring battles aren't worth the effort. Fiery hot battles are what toughen up trainers and Pokemon. I'm going to slaughter you all. Although you have a nice design. But your Goldeen must die. I forgot I didn't heal you, so I shall swap you out and send in Shane as punishment.
And I can just hear, like, the owner of this shack is just like, Ah, don't go spreading water all around my shack! How dare you try to confuse my Grovile Shane. Kill her. That's hot! Dear lady, the, the main character is a child. We shall <laughs> Speaking of child, let's fight this one. I'm gonna show you how great my Pokemon are, but don't cry! I made a grown woman in a battle gym cry. Who said basically the same thing. Ah, another one that's not even worth the, the time to kill it. Kill it. Ah, you actually know a water move, huh? But you did two damage. And you're gonna give me, like, five experience points. Because you sent out a child to fight for you. Another child. Ah, but you're gonna send out a Meryl now. Good for you. You're moving up in the world. I probably should have used that Azuril to pipe up the Howl, but I thought he was gonna send out two of them. No, not defense, girl. Bite the ball. Eat the ball. Devour the ball. I think the child is flailing about. Kill the child. I lost, but I won't cry. Congratulations, you are more mature than a grown-ass woman. Let's see, he's probably going to use water types and fighting types. I will send out Zoom to fight. If, unless it's a fighting type he sends out. If you're looking for a battle in the seashore house, you'll find no hotter trainer than me, matey. Well, there was the lady who was going on about things being hot. Meanwhile, you have three Pokemon where she only had one. Kill the bird. Uh, why do you always use supersonic? Quit collecting the Chaos Emeralds and die. What do you mean it missed? He was right in front of you. It's a bird flapping about a seashore shack. Almost leveled up. I, forget, I missed the Pokemon, but I think it is a fighting type, so we shall send out Nickel because... Everyone else is weak to fighting types. Kill this one. With impunity. And who are you going to send out next? A tentacle. Then Zoom shall destroy you. You're going to poison Zoom and I hate you for it. More headbutt. Headbutt a squid. That'll go well for you. And now tackle. And now Zoom has leveled up. That was a hard battle. I can accept that loss, matey. You're damn right that you can. Let's see. Is everyone up good? Everyone seems to be good. Now who are you? You scorching hot, those battles blazed! I'm more than just satisfied. As thanks for showing me your hot streak, I wanted you to take these! It's a half a dozen bottles of soda pop! Really? <laughs> That's what I won. Does that mean I can, like, give them to people? Do they serve a purpose, or are they just healing? What 
you mean, child? Hello, man. The water around these parts is clean, but I get my zigzagoon to pick up litter from the shoreline at times. Dirty water becomes rain and joins our rivers, which we drink from. If we pollute the sea, it all comes back to haunt us eventually. Trainer tips, Pokemon at the same level may not always have identical stats. Pokemon raised by their trainers are said to go stronger than wild Pokemon. Did I not fight you yet? Guess not. I gotta clear out all these fools. Destroy them all. He only has one. Oh boy, I can't wait to get supersonic again. Headbutt. It's always the supersonic. You always do that. Fight through the confusion. Why is the move confusion? So bad at making others, like, fight themselves. And I suppose that's everything for this area. And we can head into Slateport. You look interesting. The light of the lighthouse reaches dozens of miles away. I wonder if it doesn't startle Pokemon in the sea. Maybe. Slateport Market. Unique items found nowhere else. Whenever I visit here, I get carried away and buy too much. Yeah, that's most places. Welcome. How may I serve you? A Zuril doll, a Meryl doll, or a Skitty doll. No, thank you. Um, I'm the energy guru. I'll go for it and sell you what you need. So basically, this is just, a, hey, you have too much money, buy here. Oh, your Zigzagoon. You have to go for uh, go for it a little harder. If you do, I'll give your Pokemon something nice. What does that mean? Are you shopping where you can breathe the scent of the ocean? Slateport is such a wonderful place. Oh, look at this. The seaweed you can get around these parts is fresh and full of life. Why, it looks like it can rear up an attack. Lady, you're blocking the road. Lady, you're blocking the road. Lady, please. Lady, you're blocking the road. You're blocking the road, lady. Bitch. I wish I could shove NPCs in this game. Lady. 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 Why did they put balloons there? Lady, I want to get through. Lady. 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 Wanton whore. Why? Why is they designed the NPC to do this? Game, stop. Stop it. That way. Go that way. Yeah, <laughs> you bitch. And now I'll probably never get out. That is the way of the world. I probably should have gone to the... Oh, I thought you were going to fight me. Did you know the team's secret power? Our group, we love the team's secret power. One of our members will give it to you. Come back and show me if you get it. We'll accept you as a member and sell you good stuff in secrecy. You sound weird. If a wild Pokemon gets hurt, it heals itself by chewing on berries. Did you get that? Somebody saw that and got the idea of making medicine from berries. Did you know that? To turn berries into medicine, they must be crushed in powder. Did you know that? You seem to have an interest in berries. I've got something good for you, the likes of you. A powder jar. I recently had machines installed at Pokemon Centers for crushing berries. The berry crush machines are at the direct corner upstairs. Did you know? Could you make a, a berry powder for me using those machines? I can make you all sorts of medicine if you bring me lots of berry powder. Pressing speed rankings. What? Utter madness. Any Pokemon you get in a trade, you can't change its nickname. The original trainer's left for that Pokemon is in the nickname. But what if I decide... I will do anyway. The sea is just so vast. Could the sea have been made by the tears shed by Pokemon? No, that, seem, that seems to turn people back from stone, not make seas. Do you know that uh, what they do with old ships that become too creaky to sail? They sink them in the sea so they become habitats for Pokemon. 
I played this game so many times I did not know berry crushing existed. Ha! <laughs> Recently, a battle tent was built in Slateport. Gyms are fun, but the battle tent's awesome in its own way. You should go find tough Pokemon for battle tent. It might be a good place to level up. My Pokemon has a hasty nature. It has higher speed compared to many other Pokemon. Maybe that nature has something to do with the stat gains of Pokemon. You're a trainer, aren't you? Since you came to Slayport City, you must be going to the battle tent. Well, considering what I saw, I think Team Aqua is at the battle tent. I don't want to enter again! Yeah, that's just the way with some games. You play it, and there's just a million things you might have missed. Stern Shipyard. Wanted a sailor capable of sailing in all currents. Where the water is clean, the fruits of bountiful harvest gather. And where people gather, a market soon starts. That is how a town is born and grows. And here I thought it starts with a river valley. Yeah, if this goes here and that goes over there, then where does this thing go? What about that doohickey? Oh, I can't make heads or tails of this. Hi, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a ferry. Oh, that there. Well, they Devon goods, but this won't do. Captain Stern went off somewhere. He said he had some work to do. Could I get you to go find Captain Stern and deliver that to him? Guess he's not here, because nobody can be what they're meant to be in this world. So, did I already talk to you? Yep, the can't change the name, because the love is too great. <laughs> Calling fans of Pokemon. If you want to change your Pokemon's nickname, you'll have to get the name helper to help you. Which is the name raider. Heal my Pokemon before I die. Huzzah. And since we're not in a cave right now, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out dude with someone else. You exist purely to get through, like, caves and stuff. Hmm, who shall replace you for now? Hmm, maybe Merlin too, but that means leveling him. I guess we'll bring Popeye back in. He seems simple enough to add into our rotation. And we'll just throw him out once we get like a Routes or something. Let's go to the Pokemon fan club. Ah, my Pokemon totally rules. It's cooler than any Pokemon. I was slipping off with swagger in my step like that when the chairman chewed me out. That took the swagger out of my step. If you'd like, I'll teach you the move swagger to a Pokemon of yours. No, thank you. Wow, it's plain to see that you lavish your love on your zag Zigzagoon. Okay, it's named Zoom. Can I ask you a favor? I'm a TV reporter. I'm running a survey on Pokemon. Would you be willing to answer a few simple questions for me? Okay, here goes. I just need a quick answer, okay? The question also relates to your beloved Zigzagoon. What was it about Zigzagoon that attracted you? Let's see. Can I say HMs? Hidden machines. Let's see. Now, these are like actual Pokemon we've seen. Status, greeting people, voices, endings. Would it be under battle? <laughs> Let me win. Okay, that makes sense. The next question might be a little on the tough side. Here goes. What do Pokemon mean to you? Let's see. Air Airlock. Beauty. Blaze. Clear body. Chlorophyll. Cloud nine. What does that even mean? Looking through the various things. Insomnia, Intimidate. <laughs> Normal. What is that? What is that? Pokers. <laughs> I just love that all of these lines just feel off to these questions. I shall say beauty. 
I see. Mm hmm. Thank you. This helps me out a lot. It was fun and enlightening chatting with you. It's possible that our interview will end up on TV. Tune in and check out. Okay, that's all. If you keep letting the Pokemon faint in battle, it'll come to resent it. Soon it will become less trusting of the trainer. In other words, it certainly won't like you very much. Hello, Skitty. I love seeing Pokemon that love their trainers. Pokemon are very sensitive to the feelings of their trainers. If you treat your Pokemon with love and care, they'll love you back. When your Pokemon grow to love you, please come show me. Your Pokemon really adores you. For you, a most compassionate trainer, a gift of fan club. A Suv Bell. What does that do? I'll have to check it out. Do Pokemon enjoy having items used on them? Mine accept it really happily when I give them some protein. That's a very expensive item. Ahem, I am the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. For being the chairman, I am naturally the most important. No one can best me when it comes to raising Pokemon, no one. Well, let me tell you about Pokemon contests. They're events where one can show off Pokemon for the world to see. However, they're held far off town, so I cannot participate often enough. That is why we gather here to show off our Pokemon and have others show us theirs. Because you can't travel? But if your Pokemon was really good, it could travel for you. A Great Ball is better than a Pokeball at catching Pokemon. With this, I should be able to get that elusive Pokemon. The market does have some interesting merchandise. There are some items you can only get at a Pokemart. Welcome. How may I serve you? Give me your soul. I will buy ten of these. Just in case. And I guess five. I will get 10 super potions. Yes, that seems good. And I guess, well that's odd. I thought I saw aqua grunts here earlier. When I was a child, I visited the museum often. I used to dream about the mysteries of the sea after seeing the sea exhibits. Stern, the fellow who built the museum, also happens to be the leader of an undersea exploration team. So everyone calls him Captain Stern. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. The entrance fee is 50. Would you like to enter? Sure. Hey! What are you doing here? Me, I'm the Team Aqua member you thumped before, remember? Back in Rust Turf Tip Tunnel? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. That's hilarious. That TM, it suits you more than it does me. Hope I never see you again. <laughs> what did he give me? What was that TM? <laughs> he gave me thief. Because I stole back from him. I didn't have 50 pokey dollars, so it took a long time getting by the receptionist. We, Team Aqua, exist for the good of all. We were told to assemble here, so we did, but... Our boss, the linchpin, isn't here. If our goons didn't bungle things in Rustboro, we wouldn't be here. What I learn here, I can put to use on nefarious deeds. <laughs> By going to the museum, I can become a better criminal. If I ripped off that stuff here, would it make me rich? A stray machine is rotating under a glass dome. Maybe it's for measuring the depth of something. The depth of my soul. Yes, if you're looking for Stone, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you. That's great. We can prepare for our expedition now. I should have prepared for a double battle. <laughs> Hold it. We'll take those parts. Wh what? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts. Show you yep and fork them over. Oh, we're just going to do it one at a time. I thought it was going to be a double battle. And you only have one. You do have an interesting Pokemon, but it is still only one. Go, Zoom. Run roughshod over this bitch. Hilariously, its rough skin ability is less dangerous here than in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Bye-bye. Darn, it almost leveled up. Ah, kid beat me! You only have one Pokemon. Oh man, what a disaster. The boss is gonna be furious. Sniveling wimp, let me take care of this. 
Again, I thought it would be a double battle. Would be neat if Captain Stern helped in the double battle. A zoo bad, eh? Who should we send out to uh, get more experience? I'll send out Nightfang. Nightfang needs to level up more. And I need to really grind more. Fucking supersonic. I think Zubat's a dark type. But, so we'll go tackle. Come on, you can break through it, I believe in you. Motherfucker. Alright, come on, you can break through it. Don't flinch. Ah, it snapped out of confusion. Good. Keep it on. Keep beating that Zubat. It can astonish all at once. It's not going to be very effective. You mess with Super Sonic, you stupid bat. Experience for everyone. You can stay out and battle evermore. Bite the fish. Bite the fish. Oh, it's not very effective. Why? I will heal my Pokemon quickly, just in case. Ah, it's because you are also... You are also a dark type. Probably a dark water. Leer all you want. It'll do nothing against me. And Nightfang wins the day. And levels up. Huzzah. What? I lost two! Now what? If we don't get the parts, we're in for it! I didn't count on being meddled with by some meddling kid! Ah, old school Archie. I came to see what was taking so long to snatch some parts. And you simps! <laughs> you simps! <laughs> oh, the word has changed, my man. Are held up by a mere child? We are Team Aqua, and we love the sea. And I'm Team Aqua's leader, Archie. What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Wait, that can't be right. You're not dressed for the part. Pokemon, people, all life depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What are we doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, uh, fine. You're still too young to understand our noble objective. But I warn you, don't even consider interfering with our plans again. The consequences will cost ye dearly. And don't you forget it! You're... Okay, you're Neon. Anyway, thank... That was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. I guess I almost forgot that you even brought the parts from Devon. Whoops, there's no time to lose. We've got to set out on our ocean floor expedition really soon. Thanks again, but now I've got to go. Feel free to wander around and check out our facilities, though. And thank you for healing me. Can't even use the computer. What is this boat? Yeah, the SSN. Nice. <laughs> a rubber ball is expanding and shrinking. In the sea, the weight of water itself exerts pressure. In shallow water, the pressure is not very heavy. However, in extremely deep water, the pressure can reach even tens of thousands of tons on a small area. It's a display of a flow of seawater. Near the bottom of the sea, water flows due to differences in such factors as temperature and salinity. Interesting. I like that there's actual, like, science here. I saved the day. Huh, I'm sure I met you somewhere before. Have I introduced myself to you? If not, my name's S Scott. I just saw Timakwa run away from here like they were stung. Let me guess, you drove them away? Huh, maybe, just maybe this trainer. All right, I think you're gonna become a good friend. So let's register each other in our pokey nabs. You who, who mocked me the first time we met, you walked up to me and was just like, are you a Pokemon trainer? Eh, you're too clean. And <laughs> just walked by, didn't even care about me. 
What I'd like to do is tag along with you, but I do want to keep an eye on the towns of other people too, so I'll be off on the roam of other towns a bit more. Be seeing you, Neon. He wasn't even there to see me kick ass. Bond, I wonder what else there is to... Ooh, is this the battle tent? Find it, the ultimate Pokemon! Raw! I'm going to compete in the battle tent too! But before that, I need to catch some Pokemon! I like your, uh, enthusiasm. Ooh, I'm just bushed. I hiked over from Marvel City, but boy, this city's huge! If I'd known this, I would have ridden my bike here. Slateport Harbor. The Ferry SS title is under construction in the shipyard. Service is scheduled to begin shortly. I guess we could check out the battle tent and see what it's about. Granted, it could just kick my ass. But it could also be an experience of leveling. If it's like an infant uh, ex experience generator. Ah! Oh, hey, if it isn't Neon. Neon, let me guess, you're going to take the battle tent challenge? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a really great idea. After all, a tough trainer is the perfect fit for the battle tent. Give it your best effort. So you just left me and got in my way when I was trying to get into the tent? Is this like the battle frontier? Wouldn't it be nice if they had more of a selection? What do you mean? You can battle all you want here even if you don't have any tough Pokemon. I don't really like bug Pokemon, but maybe I'll try using some for a change of pace. Who knows, I might even li get to like them. So like, I couldn't find myself any Pokemon that were like for me, so I figured like, hey, I should file a complaint to the guy there. And he wouldn't hear me out, like, hey, so like, total bummer, man. And like, you, zip it, you know, just like, you know, take this. You are a weird man. That's like TM41, you know, hey, it's torment, you hearing me? Like, it won't let the other guy use the same move twice in a row, see? Hey, now you listen here, like, I'm not laying a torment on you. The battle swap rules are listed. Uh, in battle swap event, you may use only three Pokemon. Whether you are renting or swapping, your team may not have two or more of the same Pokemon. Which heading? Swap partner. You may swap Pokemon only with your trainer. Well, oh, I missed that. You may swap for only those Pokemon used by the beaten trainer. Interesting. After every battle you win, you may swap for one of your defeated opponent's Pokemon. You'll not be able to swap Pokemon with the third trainer in the event. There are two key points to be aware of when swapping Pokemon. First, when swapping, you can't check the stats of the Pokemon you are about to receive. Second, the Pokemon on your team are aligned in sequence depending on the order in which you rented them. The sequence remains unchanged even when swaps are made. The Pokemon of the Slateport Battle Tent are all rentals. All rental Pokemon are kept at level 30. We well, I guess might be give it a shot. Welcome to the Battle Tent, Slateport site. I'm your guide to the Battle Swap Tournament. Would you like to take the Battle Swap Challenge? Sure. Before you begin your challenge, I need to save your data. Is that all right? I guess it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Doesn't seem like much a big deal. Go ahead. Save me. Sink me. Please step this way. First, we'll hold your Pokemon for safekeeping. You may then choose from our selection of Pokemon. Seedot, Plusle, Zigzagoon, Magikarp, Skitty, Lombre. Definitely want... Let's see, Summary. What moves do you have? Tackle, Charm, Odor, Pen Missile. Odor Sloof. Hmm. Let's see. It has Bide, but I'm not sure that's good. It does have Leech Seed, though. What moves do you plus will have? Thunder Wave and Sparks, you might be good to have. Well, we might as well at least see what moves you have. I don't think it's good. It does have Tackle, though, and it's level 30. It holds a Dragon Scale. Hmm. Skitty Lombre. It has a Pattaya Berry. Assist, attract, sing, song. So you're not really... You're an assist. Astonish, water gun, fake out, absorb. I'll definitely take you. I guess I will take you. And I will take you. Yes. Right this way, please. 
toys! I need more toys! You sound insane. A bird keeper. But I doubt you'll have birds. But it does have a bug. Water gun! Uh, God damn it, use protect. Use astonish! And that's gonna poison my bastard. Probably should have swapped out. I don't think... I'll send out Zigzagoon, I suppose. But it failed. Charm. What's that move? That seems horrifying. Well, it didn't even have any damage. Well, it had a little bit of damage. What? Choice band only allows the use of charm? What the fuck? That's a s weird move. Is that, like, what Dust Ox has? Or is that what my Zigzagoon had? Spark! Quit using Protect! But it failed. At least that did more damage. The item Zigzagoon held locked you in the first move you selected, and I didn't even knew it had choice band. That's something I should have taken into account. That feels more like something that you would have your Pokemon hold, and then the first move that the enemy does would lock it in. It just feels like a weird move to, like, have your Pokemon hold. Congratulations, you healed for a little bit of health. Ah, critical hit. Good job, Plusle. Ooh, this will be like super good kill. It's like double weak. Because it's flying water, I believe. And a Golbat. I think Spark will also work against you. Plusle, you are the MVP of this match. Goodbye, Golbat. I need to work for money! <laughs> what is wrong with that guy? Thank you for competing. Let us restore your Pokémon. The second match is ready! I wonder what Rest does. No, I just want to make sure- Ah, so you can- How long does this go that they have to- Would you like to swap? Probably. Sorry, Zigzagoon, but you don't really seem good with that choice band. I don't even know what choice band really does, but we'll swap you with... Let's see. I want... Oh, I, I, that's right. I can't check theirs. It does boost the Pokemon's attack as well, so it's really useful in certain situations. I just need to be more careful. That makes sense, then. Right this way, please. Because I wanted to play it smart and use charm to lower things. Conversation can wait until I win. Why does everyone talk in, like, capital letters? It makes them seem insane. Ah, Mighty Ina, you are what my dear Diddly D shall become eventually. Of course you have the Intimidate. Hmm. What again? And that swaps out my Pokemon. Spark attack! Ah, and you might be paralyzed now. Suck it. Paralyzed and can't move. You fool. You are a buffoon. 
Paralyzing can't move. Know my pain, enemies. Know the pain that I have experienced. It has good sound effects for that, for the mighty Ina. Uh, let's see how much damage Spark does. It actually does a decent chunk. I'm willing to fight through this. And now we are also... Darn. Oh, you're gonna do a big attack, aren't you? Not very effective. Takes half my health bar. I will continue on this path. Ever so slightly. Because I can still throw out my Zigzagoon. Roll out! No, it didn't do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. What does Encore do? I do not know. I think it forces the enemy to do the same attack that it just did over and over. I think that's what Encore does. And now you're paralyzed. We're both paralyzed. And now you have eaten a berry. That she berry. All right, you're going to survive just a little bit longer. Aren't you like a rock type? I don't think this would work. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> Was that your rage move? No, I wasn't serious. That mighty Yina, though. That mighty Yina. The mighty Yina sounds nice. Mm. Ah, da, 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 da. Plusel has been my has been my MVP. So maybe swap out Lombre. Let me see. Lombre, what do you have? You have the Miracle Seed, so your Absorb does pretty good damage. I suppose. I think I'm gonna swap out my Zigzagoon, primarily because the Choice Band is like, locks it in. Like, I guess if it, like, if you had Headbutt, it might be nice. But I shall swap you for that Mighty Yina. Yes. Thank you, your Pokemon swap is complete right this way. I don't think I've ever... Well, then again, of course I couldn't have done this. I haven't done Emerald before. I am angry with my father. And this pertains to me how. Sends out a Golbat. Alright, I'm gonna swap out to my Plusle. I'll need to be on the lookout for... Confuse Ray. That's annoying. Spark! Work through the confusion! Yeah! That's right. How dare you try to astonish my Pokemon. Work through the confusion! I believe in you! <laughs> These NPCs say the most random things. I can believe it, and so far they are hilarious and odd. Nuzleaf. Hmm. We will hold true. Spark attack! Even if it's not effective, it still does decent damage. What? Nature power turned into swift? We'll do extra damage with that. Attack. Have him off! Uh, didn't even... Oh, it paralyzed him! Maybe we'll be able to sweep them again. Why use Attract? Fell in love, so that means you won't attack often. Nope. Immobilized by love. 
and nature power became swift and then murdered. Talk about an abusive relationship. Mighty Ina, go! And it has Intimidate. It has Bite, Swagger, Tackle, and Roar. Bite the little plant man! Did it make it flinch at least? Why does everyone get attracted? Would be hilarious if Swagger was like... Went through it. But it failed. Well, one of us will die eventually. Well, <laughs> I guess it does make sense. The mighty Ina was in love, so it decided to get kinky. But it failed. I guess my this mighty Ina is a violent individual. You are scary. Kill it. You're double scary. Double kill it. Ah, of course, more confusion. If only my plus will stay around. Work through the confusion. I believe in you. God damn it, Mighty Ina. Then again, it did work through the attraction, so I guess that's well, not all bad. And snapped out of confusion like immediately. So far, I've been very lucky that my ace in this situation has been Plusle. I just so adore my father! That's not what it sounded like. Congratulations, you won three straight matches! I'll return your Pokémon in exchange for our Rinzel Pokémon. I must also save our event results. Please wait. For in recognition of your three win streak, we award you this prize! A full heal. Confusion is the worst effect in Pokemon, honestly. Next to attraction, of course, because it's basically the same thing. Well, at least we went through that. We did a thing. I guess we'll see about Devon. Not Devon. Oh, maybe we can call uh, the Devon man and be like, Hey, we delivered it. Oh, Neon, I see you met Steven. I'd better reward you then. When you visit Rossboro again, come see me at my office. I'll be waiting for you. I guess we could just, like, head back to Briny and ask him to take us. I can't swim, so I'm pretending to swim. How many people did I just miss on this beach? Well, at least it's a Meryl, so it's worth killing. No, the worst status condition to have is paralysis. I think they more meant that confusion and attract are bad effects to use. Like, they don't really work as you would want them to. Paralysis is annoying because it works. It functions. It happens a lot. Confusion and attract don't really do that. They don't really get in the way, so they don't really function. We're gonna head back so that we can tell Devon we did things. Even if we have to go the scenic route. We're on a cruise, a one-man cruise. Ahoy! We've hit land! Take us to Petalburg. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to go through the forest, won't we? Zoom across the sea. And then later in the game, Do Mr. Briny gets assassinated. So we have to use Surf to get where we're going. And the one that assassinated him was Pico! Well, actually, should. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take some fight. Pa oh, hey, berries! Let's see, what berries should we place? I, 
guess let's play some more pokey. What? What the? What? I was too late. I missed my chance. I failed the universe. We'll go ahead and water these. I get there just in time to watch the berry fall into the ground before my eyes, becoming a plant once more. I highly doubt this will be worth killing, so kill it anyway. Punish its existence. So honestly, I should pro I'm probably better off using Repel in here. <laughs> if we're talking status conditions, I would say the worst one is Freeze, because getting frozen is really frustrating and only fire moves can thaw you out. Yep. I'm trying to think for myself what my personal least favorite is. Honestly, it would probably have to be, like, the same. Because... A move that just, like, you don't get to play the game. At least with other moves, there's the opportunity to maybe do things. Mr. Devon, I have done as thou requested. The extermination has begun. I get here. He's not in. Ah, he's gone on vacation for five million years. You delivered my letter. Thank you kindly. This is my way of thanking you. I should help you, a trainer. Yeah! A Pokemon holding that experience share will be given some of the experience points from battle. It will get experience points even if it didn't actually battle. I would say experience share is quite useful for raising weak Pokemon. Since my youth, I've immersed myself in work. Consequently, I'm not familiar with trends and that sort of thing. But do young people all want to uh, be trainers in the Pokemon League? I've only been poisoned, confused, paralyzed, burnt, and put to sleep. <laughs> but oh, thank you, game. Thank you, game, for giving me the experience share this early on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who do I want to level up? I guess you. Jughead, you can be power leveled for a while. Ooh, 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 I'm so happy I don't have to swap people out anymore. And, yeah, now we can get on with our journey. That was definitely worth coming back. That is 100% worth running back <laughs> to this place. Experience share is the greatest item ever. It is just the best. We gotta get back to Mr. Briny and Pico. Mainly Pico, though. Let us set sail once more, my dear man. Ahoy! Now, my friend, let us go! Wait. Game, I said yes. So I want to do Lucky, just wait until you get frozen. It'll make you mad, guaranteed. Come to think of it, I don't have a fire type on my team. I don't even think I had the opportunity except for Torchic. To be quite honest, if it weren't if it weren't for the fact that uh, Trico was my Mystery Dungeon partner for, for my first time playing Mystery Dungeon, I probably would have chosen Torchic, so I could get that hot chicken action in the form of Blaziken, legs for days, and also Fire type, because it really does seem that. Like, fire types are hard to come by in a lot of Pokemon games. Like, either it's a Pokemon that can just randomly do a fire move for no reason, or you're doomed. But I suppose... Ah, let's check my Pokenav. For map purposes. 
Mm, we can't go that way because we don't have any surfing power, but we can go up to Marvel. Other great items are the Max Repel, Max Revive, Escape Rope, and Ultra Ball. I don't think I've used that many uh, escape ropes in my time. Slateport City in this place. Let's see what random enemies there are to face. What new Pokemon? Ooh, an Electrike. You might be worthwhile catching. Then I can have my Dark Dog and my Electric Dog. I will throw a premier ball. Turn your trust, for you are the premier partner. Haha! -ha. Appealing to its ego has worked greatly. Electrike, lightning Pokemon. It generates electricity using friction from the atmosphere. In seasons with especially arid air, its entire body blazes with violent showers of spikes. What name shall we give you? My brain immediately goes to... Striker. Where's the bit that? You are now Striker. We'll come grab you at some point, but I want to see what more Pokemon there are to find here. Ah, just a wingle. I already have a wingle, and they're probably going to be replaced. Although, maybe having a water type would be decent. But at the same time, my Zigzagoon can learn Surf eventually. It won't get Stab with water type, but eh. Kill! What other Pokemon live in these fields? Ah, uh, just another Poochiana. Granted, if I really wanted to, I could probably just put experience share on whoever and just have Shane carry the entire team for eternity. But I actually want to use my team. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot. When the enemy team use Sand Attack, I miss. When I use Sand Attack, they never miss. Really, I'm more likely to miss. Hmm. Oh, hey! Professor Zoom found something. A great ball! Great find, Professor Zoom. Let's see, is there anything else, or is there just electric dogs added to the pool? There is a Plusle, and I assume Minin in here. I uh, reversed that. Yeah, it feels like the AIs are cheating half the time. I guess we'll go ahead and capture you, just for completion more than anything. You have no friend to helping hand. We'll just catch you for uh, completion's sake, more than anything. Now stay in that ball, or I will punt you over the- You are going to be punted over the horizon! Get in the ball! Become content! You slut! You have no friends, so get in the ball! There are many friends in the computer! Wait, doesn't this technically mean that Pokemon are also Digimon because they become digital data and be thrown into computer for storage? We store Digimon and Pokemon the exact same way! Minin, the cheering Pokemon. At a meeting of Pokemon Academics, it was announced that st simultaneous exposure to electricity from a Plusle and Minin will promote circulation and boast vitality. We are going to give you an identity crisis. You are now plus. Your name is now plus identity crisis with you. Two identical Pokemon fighting each other? Ditto versus Ditto and Smeargle versus Smeargle would be impossible to win. Just a bit more wandering around. See if there's anything else. Maybe find a plusle in here. 
go, Zoom. Ah, uh, you're still paralyzed. Fuck. Now you're paralyzed and likely to miss. Fuck. Quit spitting sand into Zoom's eyeballs. You bitch. Well, let's see if we don't, like, diddly D again. Yes, Tackle has won the day. Hmm. I think Plusle can be found on Cycling Road. Ah, I was just mostly saying it because we already found a mine, and so my brain was just like, hee-haw, let's find both right here. We'll go ahead and heal because don the horrendous world of paralysis. Then again, I think I have berries that cure that and I forgot. I wonder if having a water type Pokemon is good because then you could just like have an infinite water source. Let's see, who do we want to... Hmm. I think we should keep Popeye for now. But maybe we'll find better water types later. Elect Electric comes with us. Striker's coming with us. Sorry, Popeye. This is uh, Electric time. <laughs> then again... You should use Electrite. It's useful for the majority of the game. That's... Because, yeah, I was mostly thinking of just, like, who should I replace? Hmm. I'm going to take back my experience share from Makuhita Jughead. And we'll bring Popeye in again, because just in... Then again, most things that are weak to water are usually, like... I think my types are covered, actually. Except for fire. Maybe. My type charting is bad, is what I'm saying. I'm going to actually give you the experience share. Because you deserve it, Striker, you darling you. But I don't think there are that many new Pokemon to find in those fields, so we're going to charge ahead. Which should I choose? Make a beeline for Mauville or on Cycling Road or take the low road and look for Pokemon? I don't know. I don't even think I have a bike to go here. Sorry, you can't walk on Cycling Road. It's not... It's too dangerous. Please come back with a bike. But what if I run really fast? Hey, Professor Birch? Oh, Neon! Imagine seeing you here! And where might my Brendan be? I don't know, I saw him last in Petalburg, right now. Uh, Rustboro. Oh, I see, you two are running separately. Well, that's fine. Oh, yes, I heard that your Pokénav had the Magic Call system installed. Well, then I should register you in my pack Pokénav, too. That way, even if we're apart, I can rate your Pokédex any time. Yay. Neon, please keep an eye out for my Brendan. I better get going. See you again, Neon. You went back the way you came, moron. Let's see. Yeah, these two will fight together because they need to level up. Double battle time. <laughs> I would go anywhere to show off my delightful Pokemon. When cute Pokemon help each other, you won't see a more adorable sight. Let me guess, you both have Plusle and Minin, don't you? Are you going to send out your child to attack? Oh wow, would you look at that, I called it. Headbutt. And bite. Is ready to help foam mining. But it failed! 
I probably should focus down one instead. Focus down one, quickly! Luckily, they're dumb. Instead of using Helping Hand and then attacking, it's just using Helping Hand and the other one does nothing. Are Plus and Mine in the same? I assume they have differences, like, maybe in abilities and stat, like, allocation, but... I don't know. Bite the head off that mining. Once again, they're stuck in an infinite loop of... I want to use Helping Hand. And of course you have a berry, don't you? Luckily it's only an orange berry. They both have orange berries! Fine, we'll go back to pounding the, the only one so that they can just die faster. Then again, it doesn't really matter. They're not being smart. <laughs> They helping hand each other and have failed to do anything. Keep killing the children. Oh wow, now that you have no friend, you actually did something different. Can four identical Pokemon fight each other? Probably. If we went and caught a bunch of mine and we would have had a triple threat, more like a quadruple threat match. They have different stats, spread, and abilities, yes. Aha, my assumption was correct. Would be kind of weird to create an identical clone Pokemon. And just be like, ah, yes, they are totally the same. Kill this Plusel. Kill it dead. You are my ace in the battle tent, but now you must die. Really, I can't wait until black and white so that I can... Ride the battle subway. Gear station. Oh dear, this won't do. Have you no compassion or pity? I did take their money. Well, we do have Charizard and Typhlosion. They have the exact same stats. <laughs> Ditto would be your cloner. Ah, that's true. That wasn't close to what I could do to show off my Pokemon. I'll have you uh, as a captive audience as often as possible. You sound disturbing, lady. Hey, I want to talk to you. I don't have a bike, so I'll take a leisurely walk on the low road. Three steps and two steps to reach the wondrous trick house. Huh. Can you imagine Sonic and Ezio from Assassin's Creed having a crossover? A part of me wants to say that... <laughs> my brain's playing tricks on me. Assassin's Creed has shown up in so many different places and wants to say that it already has. The question comes from Twitch chat. Oh, a child. We must kill him. Another mighty Ina. Go Zoom! I forgot you're paralyzed. When did you become paralyzed?! A critical hit. Goodbye, Poochiana. I found Dire Hit. Let's see. Who do I want to fight this child? Who deserves to fight? Oh, hey! You found an item. Let me see. You found Repel. I think that is uh, <laughs> Zoom asking to be relented of duty. I found some cool Pokemon in the grass around here. Well, somebody will soon find your body around here. Fuck. I have to split the experience like 55 ways. Excuse me, I have to keep retracting my comments. I just don't like them everywhere. That's fine. And we shall send out you. I could have sent out Aeron. No, not Aeron. I could have sent out Stryker. And Stryker could have annihilated them. Bullet seed this bitch! Probably should have sent out Stryker so it could lightening up this uh, steel type, but oh well. For some reason, my. Don't you dare. I thought that would be super effective for some reason. I should have absorbed your soul.
Yes, a good old triple bullet seed. And the experience is split five million ways. You're about to use an Electrike. Hmm. Well, you're already paralyzed, so... Destroy this Electrike, this false pretender! They are not the real Striker! Strike them down! Raise your attack all you want. All you will do is howl as you die. Now give me your lunch money, kid. Being cool isn't enough to win. Exactly. Just look at Lance. Trainer tips. The items in the bag can be reorganized by pressing select. Neat. Well, I guess we could try the trick house. Don't know exactly what's in here. I just realized we've been going forever. And I'm just having a load of fun. You're being watched. Is it by the coffee? Ha! Grr! How did you know I concealed myself beneath this desk? You're sharp! Behold, for I'm the greatest living mystery of a man in all of Owen. They call me the Trick Master. <laughs> Glad to meet you. You, you've come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter, though, the scroll here, and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. That motherfucker can fly. Sure, I guess. Ah, uh, great. Is this like a mini dungeon? I'll hack and slash my way to victory if cut just like we learned. Why aren't there more lumberjacks in here? Hey, it's the first time we've seen an audition here. Time to get some greens in your diet. Bite its face off. Flinch more, salad man. Flinch more. Eat him. Eat him alive. Flinch and die. <laughs> Jesus. I think flinch might be a terrifying status, even though it's small. Emerald has amazing soundtracks. Which one are your favorites? I th honestly, so far, I think the rival battle music is up there. Seems very nice. But yeah, the music is really good when you notice it. But I honestly don't know. Negates the foe's efforts to heighten evasiveness. Goodbye, sand attack. That sounds immensely more useful. Because it stops the motherfucker from doing something instead of just... Why are you so serious? Because I'm the Joker, baby. If it weren't for the fact that we were already in here. I was going to say the rival battle as well with E4 theme in second. Elite 4. It's just, uh, I haven't heard all that many and I don't know their names. And sometimes, I'm trying to think, there was another song that was really good. I think it was, maybe it was the gym leader theme, maybe? I don't know. There was another song that had, like, good backing music. Or, like, uh, basically there's the main, like, musical symphony, but then there was, like, a lighter melody underneath the song that was really good. L or, like, lighter instrumentation. How is this a mystery house? It's just a, a maze with trees. Maybe he'll kick my ass. The trick is, he seems like a bumbler, but he's actually God. Arceus here, playing a trick on me. Just who is the trick master? Don't tell me he's you. Why do you have three? Oh, hey, a skitty! Adorable skitty. Kill. 
critical hit. Goodbye, Skitty. Nickel, you get to double dine today. Because they're a fool and they're using a shroomish kill. Quit trying to paralyze all my Pokemon. One of these days, a Pokemon is, like, gonna have paralyzed lungs and they'll suffocate and it'll be your fault. I'm about to use a Meryl, huh? <laughs> Shane, you can have some fun. Murder. Line up the Assault Squad kill. Gun time. Bullet seed time. If only it went for all four. Hey, this is the perfect time. You can heal yourself with Absorb. Eat its soul. Now my brain wonders if there ever has been or ever will be a crossover between Digimon and Pokemon. My top five are Petalburg, Route 110. Petalburg had good music. I lost while I was in lost in thought. Not really. You asked a question, then you went into fighting. I found a scroll. What does it mean? The secret code written on the scroll. I guess now I can activate something? Well, let's go get that, that Pokeball. Pokeball to me. Orange mail? What's an orange mail? A zigzagoon print mail to be held by a Pokemon. Okay. Sure, whatever you say, game. I'm coming to fight you, child, and soon you will die like everyone else. I wandered into this weird house by accident. <laughs> Are you a parody of most Pokemon players who go into places they're not supposed to? And now you are the punishment of the world. Wing attack! Fly the zigzagoon into the sky. Growl all you want. You're not going to win. Eat its soul! Or more like blow its soul away! I've never actually played a Digimon game. Only watched the anime a bit. It's only like... Well, not somewhat recently. Uh... The only games that I've played of Digimon have been uh, Cyber Sleuth and Digimon Survive. And personally, I think they're both pretty good. Cyber Sleuth does suffer from a bit of wonkiness when it comes to evolution because you need to ri like raise a certain stat by evolving and devolving your Digimon so that you can accrue enough to go to higher levels of evolution, which is a little annoying as a holdover from older games. But Digimon Survive... Even though some people were annoyed by it being a more story than combat, I personally really liked it, and especially how they handled uh, Digivolution. It's just very, very nice. <laughs> no matter the trainer, from weakest youngster to the toughest champion, they'll always say they're the best. Yeah, that's about right. But yeah, I'm trying to think. But it's very... Uh, mm. Because a lot of Digimon games I've heard of, of are decent, but also some have a lot of won wonkiness to them. From what I hear, Digimon Cyber Sleuth is a good starting point. It has a few issues, but it's mostly a very good, like, uh, action economy RPG. Where basically, um, it's kind of like a po Legends Arceus, where the actions are placed on the right, and you can see the order of combat as they'll play out. And, like, even though evolution is a bit annoying at times, the the act of getting really cool Digimon is still very fun. Still very, very fun. And the story's also really cool. 
the only problem is uh, Cyber Sleuth was made and brought over to America during the Great Digimon Drought, so the translation had a very small budget, so sometimes it says some stupid things, like calling one of, I forget what Digimon it was, but because the Digimon is called like, oh, da 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 mon the translation sometimes got wonked out, and instead of just saying monster, it says that Digimon. I love wonkiness. I play Yu-Gi-Oh. Wonky stuff happens uh, in that uh, uh, in that card game constantly. <laughs> but yeah, as a first Digimon game, highly recommend Cyber Sleuth. It comes in for collection with its DLC expansion, uh, Hacker's Memory now. And I think it goes on sale a lot, so if you want to give it a shot, that's probably the perfect place to start. But I personally really love Digimon Survive. It's not for everyone. It is a... Digimon Survive is a uh, visual novel mixed with a tactics RPG, where you can move the Digimon across the grid and get, like, uh, side swipes and back attacks. And then you, like, have an energy, like, the energy you use for... I forget. Mm. But yeah, there's like an energy economy for being able to digivolve, and personally, I really like it. It's not for everybody. Some people, some people apparently thought that there was going to be more like combat gameplay than there was, to which I find them to be silly people because I could have sworn that before the game even came out that the director said, yeah, we were going for like this percentage of uh, like, visual novel, this percentage of tactics RPG fighting. Trickmaster is fabulous. <laughs> Hilarious. Why is there a broken... You're a weird man, aren't you? Ah, you've made it to me! Um, you're sharp! It took me all night to plant all those trees! <laughs> you're almost my equal in greatness by one, two, three, four, five, six places! Fine, you have earned this reward! That's a pretty good reward. Scrub that smug smirk from your face, it's too early for, to think you've won! I'll make new tricks, I'll stump you, I will! You may mock my, me only when you're done! Come back for the next exciting installment! But yeah, it probably also wouldn't hurt to glance at the older Digimon games, because apparently they are full of jank of their own. I'll check them out. Maybe put them on my wish list if it interests me. Yep. I've just heard a lot of good things and some wonky things. So, yeah, just... I think there are good Digimon games. It's just that they're more all over the place than compared to, like, Pokemon. They're more experimental at times. They do weird stuff. And I think that like, there's also high recommendations for some of the, like... I forget, like... I think it was, like, Digimon... It was one of the DS games. Although there are also a few uh, DS Digimon games that apparently have a lot of grind to them, so who knows. Let's see. I guess I'll go this way just because I can, and I think it leads to... Like a dead end. <coughs> Excuse me. Did you feel the tug of our soul-soothing fragrance? <laughs> I'm all for RPGs, so I'm always love to test new ones. If I remember correctly, some of the weirdest ones are on the PlayStation 1 because they kind of jump genres for a bit from game to game. <laughs> like, one is a... I forget. One's like one kind of RPG, one's more of a Pokemon RPG, then another one's a dungeon crawler. Ooh, Rosalia. It would be nice to see that. Annihilate these twinks. I really need to give the older Digimon games a shot myself as well. It's just that my brain really just jumps all over the place. So it's hard to really just bear down and go for one game. I still haven't beaten Cyber Sleuth. I've been at the end forever, but, like, I got to the end, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna, like, grind, do some stuff, prepare for the end, and then I just never got back to it. 
Uh, no Odor Sleuth, because you're going to become the HM Slave. Stop, yes. Aroma Lady Daisy. She's named appropriately. You weren't led astray by our aroma. Were well, you trying to drug me? By the way, did you see the FF7 Rebirth reveal? I'm kind of excited for it, but two discs is making me scared for its storage size. What? They're already breaking it up into installments. Why is it on two discs? That sounds insane. But I knew that there was an FF7 thing announced, but I didn't look into it myself. Mostly because I want to play the, uh, the PlayStation 1 version, and then eventually get to the remake. Eventually. Eventually, 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 eventually. I say eventually a lot for some reason. Well, let's double battle. <laughs> Whoa, how'd you get into a space this small? Did my guitar's wailing draw you in? You seem weird. A Makuhita and a Voltorb. Uh, I think we need to buckle down and annihilate the Makuhita. Apparently, uh... Alright, got it. Uh, dark type not good against a fighter. No, Nightfang! Leave the boy alone! All right, tackle the Makuhita and headbutt the Makuhita. Would be hilarious if the Voltorb exploded and hit everyone. I've only played the fr uh, first FF7 remake, but I do want to give the original version a shot as well. With me, the reason is I want to play the original one so that I can, like, experience it kind of in chronological order. Like, I'm not, like, a stickler where my brain goes, oh, I have to do this in, in this specific order. It's just more like, yeah, whatever catches my fancy. But it just seems more right to play the original release since it was so long ago and then see, like, where they went and what they changed, primarily. Whoa, the kid can rock! My one-man show is ruined. You got a Pokemon. You're a two-man show. Give credit. Hmm. I don't even think I have any move that I want to PowerPoint up that much. Let's see. I guess... I guess we could put Striker in combat and have Shane join in for this double battle. Hello, twins. We battle together as one team. And you're gonna die together as one team. Yeah, you're gonna die together. Sorry, Striker, you won't be like... Well, I guess you won't be bad either. Tackle the other one. Ah, yes. Helping hand and then helping hand. Congratulations. We can whittle you down at our leisure. I tried playing the OG Ocarina of Time on the N64, but I switched to 3DS version shortly after starting it because it felt uh, better to play it on the 3DS. I myself have... Uh, it's been forever since I played Ocarina of Time, and I want to go back and play the original version. I don't know why, it's just like the... Blah, 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 blah. The 3DS version looks odd to me. Is a double battle better or worse than a single battle? Uh, I think it's just different, really. Doesn't really seem to be... It's mostly just a bit more of a strategy to go around. Not much like, in my opinion. It's like not like that different. It's just like, I guess for certain moves, you need to be careful so that you don't accidentally hit your ally, like with Earthquake or something. But otherwise, yeah, it just seems to be like a normal Pokemon battle of just more participants, more strategy. Oh, we lost, big sister. We were, really, we're a lot better. It's true, we'll show you next time. And once again, I am forced to add them to my Pokenav. I will never talk to them again. I forgot to travel this way to steal these berries. 
these berries are mine now. They're mine eternally. I will probably never return to the other berries. Because I'll just forget about them. And they're far away. So unless, like, I get fly, I'm not really going to care. <laughs> Goodbye, soil. You're gonna get annihilated by my microvile. My Pokemon is delightfully adorable. Don't be shy, I'll show you. But can you select whether your moves uh, uh, you can use on you or your opponent? Yeah. I think it depends, because I know that you can, like, use an attack move on your ally. Like, at least it's selectable. When it comes to, like, uh, status moves, the... Bibbidi bop it doesn't seem like you're able to select your ally with negative of status moves. But, like, with attacks and probably certain other things you can. Again, probably, like, Earthquake hits everybody. But I don't know the specifics about it, because aside from maybe double battles in future games that I've forgotten about... This is the first time I've experienced double battles. Because I don't know if there's that many double battles in Sinnoh. Oh my gosh, my darling Pokemon! Your darling Pokemon is dead. I'll, I'll get you to come out and look at my delightful Pokemon again! You want me to come and beat up your Pokemon again? I think that guy's having a seizure. God, my fishy line's all snarled up! I'm getting frustrated and mean! That's it! Battle me! You challenged a person who has a grass ace. You're... And you just have... Magikarp. Magikarp. Every single fisherman in this world is a disappointment to me. Worthless. Well, at least we're about to send out a tentacle. Come on, Zoom. Headbutt more jellyfish. It's also a low level. Kill it. Kill it now. Kill it in one hit and laugh. I will stay out. Annihilate this fool. It's just another Magikarp. It's a level 15 Magikarp, but it's still a goddamn Magikarp, and it's not gonna give me much experience! Because it's a Magikarp. The only jellyfish I know is Amber Riley. I don't know what that is, or who that is. God, I lost it! I'm even more annoyed now! Then why did you challenge somebody? Where you'll just, like, I'm gonna beat up somebody with my two magic carp and a tentacle. You are a fool. I found a guard spec, an item I'm never gonna use. And we'll have to talk to the rich person gazing out into the lake. They're probably Narcissus. Being like, ah, yes, look at my beloved... Uh, who should get the honor of, uh, killing him? Hmm. Nah, let's give Nickel the opportunity for, for shining, flying Heinen. If you cross the sea from here, it'll be a shortcut to Old Dale Town. <laughs> That's useful, isn't it? Nah, I didn't even get to kill him. I could have pushed him into the water, maybe. Pokemon Murder Edition. Granted, now that makes me think Pokemon on um, Serial Killer, where you're a Pokemon who is a serial killer. The ultimate rated M Pokemon video game. Coming to GameStop never, because GameStop will probably be dead when if that game ever gets made anyway. It'll be far off in the future where the head of the Pokemon company, who is brand new, is just like, let's expand and do crazy shit. And that'll be so far into the future, GameStop won't exist anymore. And now he will go this way. Let's see. Who do I want out? Uh, yeah, we'll give the deer 
dear Nichols some time in the shining. That pretty much sums up anyone who's self-destruct an explosion. Ha! <laughs> Indeed. I don't really care to catch an Oddish. They're kind of a bland Pokemon to me. And I don't really care for Vileplume. And who next interrupts my walk? It's a mighty Ina. Not a mighty Ina, Poochie Ina. I don't know why, my brain just like immediately recognizes this is the evolution of mighty Ina. And that's it. Brain is not smart, and I just realized in time again. <laughs> Pokemon just lulls me into a sense of security, I swear. We'll get to the next town, and then we'll probably stop. Oh, hey, Brendan. Hey, Neon, so this is where you were. How's it going? I've been raising your Pokemon. I'll check for you. That sounds like a threat. And considering we're fighting, that is. You sent out a Wingo. High level Wingo at that. Well, my nickel is better than your Wingo. Wing attack! Then again, it's a flying type, so it shouldn't do that much. Never mind. You are a fool. Now die. At the power of Nickel! And you're about to use Combuskin. Huh, who should I send out? It'll probably be a decent level. I will send out... Actually, should I keep Nickel out? Nickel, you can have the fun of roasting this chicken. It's level 20. The level spikes are pff, critical hit super effective. Jesus Christ, Nickel did not like Combuskin. <laughs> uh, Striker's trying to learn quick attack. Well, let's see. What moves do you have that I wouldn't mind getting rid of? Hmm. I don't really care for quick attack all that much, really. But it might be nice. Uh, hmm. I do like having Leer and Howl at the same time, so if I want, I can lo raise my attack or their defense, so yeah. And what are you going to send out next? Lombre. I will let Zoom take over. Kind of surprised you sent his ace out so quickly, unless Lombre is becoming his ace. Annihilate this fool. Flinch more, little man in a hat. Flinch more, little man in a hat! Ah, oh, he didn't flinch again. Almost! Why are... Oh, nature power probably... No, I don't know. All nature power seems to turn into swift for some reason, and I don't know why. Victory! You, hmm, you're pretty good. I've yet to lose to you. Neon, you've trained without me noticing. Good enough. Here, take this. Item finder. I don't think I'll ever use that. I keep forgetting. That's an item finder. Use it to root around for items that aren't visible. If it senses something, it emits a sound. And away I'm off to look for new Pokemon. Motherfucker decides to flex on me by having a goddamn bike. Are oh, they just having a jig? Well, once again, gonna have Zoom and Night Fang dance together in the moonlight. We'll heal up uh, Zoom a little bit. Probably could have used an Ornberry. I am dumb. Could I see your Pokemon? Just one look, please! Okay, full throttle time. If you can't groove, you get left behind. It's to do either locate whether or location. I haven't played it in years. Hmm. Damn, time flies by. <laughs> 4 a.m. already. While well, I'm asleep, have a good day. And you too. Thank you for spending time on the stream tonight. The stream went on longer than I expected it to. <laughs> Pokemon is just engrossing. It was just a fun time. 
Let's annihilate one side first. Haha, <laughs> Lombre flinched. Lombre is going to die. Nope, Lombre is not going to die today. Damn. Ah, turn into Stun Spore. Nature power is weird. Always oh, it has to do with their nature? Like their personality, maybe? Maybe. Goodbye, Lombre. Ah, you send out a Nuzleaf. You fool. You will die. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, phone alarm. I know I've been going for too long. The game is just too good. And Zoom has leveled up. Huzzah! Oh, please explode. It would be hilarious. It'd be hilarious to finally have an ally explode on their ally. You fool. Zoom is already paralyzed. Critical hits. Chomp. Good. Bite the exploding monster. Ah, but the real nostalgia is still to come. Can't wait to get to it. Goodbye, Nuzleaf. You are now dead. Now everyone, focus your power on the Voltorb. Considering it's a Voltorb, that seems ominous. Critical hit. Critical hitical. And Striker is super leveling up thanks to the item share. Experience share. I wanted to complete my collection. You got into the groove, alright. I like collecting match call registrations too. You are a weird man. We should probably still have Night Fang in front. We'll just need to heal him a bit. Once again, we just need to get to town. And then we can, I feel safe ending. Another Electric. But I already have one. And they are super leveled compared to you. How dare you want to paralyze my poor dog. Kill it. Kill it now. Alright, it wants to double paralyze Night Fang for some reason. Weirdo. Eat its soul. It failed to paralyze Night Fang even once. For once, my. <laughs> my good luck is on my side. Well, Striker, I think I will take that back. Because it is working out really well. And I guess we'll give it. Hmm, who do we want to super level? Because everyone else is doing good. You have to uh, have move uh, to groove to move. You snooze, you lose, according to him. Definitely seems accurate. <laughs> to his philosophy, at least. Yeah, we'll give Jughead the experience share so that eh, at least the lowest level is getting up there. Another Pucciana. It must be annihilated. Quit howling in the night. Darn paralyzing. From beyond the grave, the electric attacks. And to add insult to injury. I forgot, you're also a dark type, so it's not going to do that much. Tackle then. Quit spraying sand in Night Fang's eyes. The paralysis has really come to roost, hasn't it? Quit with the sand. If it doesn't help me, it shouldn't help you. It helped him. How dare you, world. 
The world is cruel upon my soul. The soul that that monster no longer has. Good for you, Jackhead. We can have another double battle. But they're both fucking paralyzed. Let's see if we have uh, the berries that get rid of paralysis. Let's see. Cherry? Yes. I don't, I don't care about the label. I care about using it. I forgot about these again. Oh, come along, you two. Double battle time. I have foreseen your intentions. I cannot possibly lose. I fell off cycling road. I'll get over my embarrassment by battling with you. That seems like it would be dangerous. It has to be a tall enough, like, bridge for it to actually do something. How far did you fall? Do you now have brain damage? Let's annihilate the psychic first. Goodbye, psychic. I cannot possibly lose. He has one Abra. And now we'll annihilate that Magnemite. Well, it flinched anyway. I could have used Tail Whip with Zoom so that it becomes progressively weaker in this double battle. So damage is still being done. Oh, but never mind. Critical hit, it's going to die next turn anyway. Thundershock, all you want, you're still going to be going down, man. Bye-bye, Magnemite. Nightfang leveled up. Good job. And Jughead leveled up. Good job. Vital throw is very nice. In double battles, I always take out the tougher opponent first. Me, I just kind of go up the flow. I either go for, like, the strongest enemy, or, like, if it's in this case they only have two Pokemon overall, I'll just give bring it down to a 1v2. One, uh, one I fail to prophesize my own demise! Oops, I ended up losing. That's why you need not to be rash. <gasps> Mighty Ina. Well, yes, that is what he's evolving into. Once again, my brain just, like, looks at the evolution, recognizes it, it's the pre-evolution of Mighty Ina, and says Mighty Ina, because brain is dumb. Good job, Night Fang. Become stronger, man. We shall go forth and crush our enemies. And the wild Pokemon are just biting tonight. Your attack goes down. Because you're a clown. Eat its soul. Jesus Christ. I don't know why, but just... Seeing the damage go all the way is very satisfying and often surprising for some reason. That's what I thought. Sometimes when I see an empty spot in the grass, I just go, Is there a hidden item there? Ah, we had a place. Or near a place, at least. Ah, oh, the Pokemon... Oh, no, it's just cycling, cycling road. Hey, don't sneak up behind me like that! The only way to talk to you is through sneaking up, though. J okay, you have a big team. And I have a mighty Ina. Clear body prevented Nightwing's intimidate. Interesting. Well, intimidate it by biting him. Eat his soul. Don't you dare poison the boy. You poison the poison! And that poison after diddly dee did a lot of damage. How dare you? You're about to send out Whalmer, huh? But my zoom will crush you. A 
It looks like a circle. Kill it. Flinch more, little man. Flinch more. Not roll out. He's pulling the Whitney on me. Be gone and falter and fall. And Jughead leveled up to level 14. Goody. Another Whalmer. Bring out the firing squad. We will not allow you to exist, little man. That is a one. That is a two. Do I hear three? And it's out of here. Bye bye. And another tentacle. Well, we'll let Shane close this out. With another bullet seed. Hmm, interesting. I guess it's like. Half poison. Whoa, we went the full four. Brilliant. Not the supersonic. Once roll it is selected, <laughs> can you use another move? I feel like it would have said in the thing that the enemy was locked into rollout if it was, but that could have just been like a clarification thing later in the series, so I don't know. It's entirely possible, but I am unaware of the specifics. Goodbye, Tentacool. You have been shot to death. I lost Drat! Ah oh, yes, poison. Oh, it seems that we are just outside. Oh, but we don't have any P.E.K.K.A. Oh well. But it does look like we are just outside of a city. So I think this will be the perfect place to stop for now. Or we could just, like, head in. The two roads above, one below. A road each for people and Pokemon? Perhaps that is the right and fair. Hmm. Let's at least find the Pokemon Center, if possible. Pokemon Center, Pokemon Center. That way we can heal. If I want to go crazy things, I can go do crazy things. We will heal, and then we will end. So that my Pokemon can be safe. Opponent, I lost me. Yes, you lost. Big deal. You've been a Pokemon trainer for how long? Obviously, you must have lost a lot of times by now. Or that would have been one impressive, like, win streak. But yes, Pokemon Emerald is very engrossing. It, 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 it suckered me into playing for four hours. I am a fool. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can find other things I am doing and have done, like my edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, which I swear, edited content is coming eventually. And then, of course, my streaming YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, that also houses the archives of all streams past, like my playthrough through the Mass Effect trilogy, through Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Undertale, lots of games. If you prefer to watch on Twitch, I also have a Twitch channel for however however long Twitch lasts, I suppose. From, from what I've heard, they're dying. Twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings, I suppose. And then if you want other things from me, like my little avatar in the corner, art that I draw, you can find me posting art to, like, Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Inkblot, Tumblr, lots of places. Links to them can be found in my link tree, which is in the bios, descriptions, and link places of the internet. And it should be linktr.ee slash neonicywings. Also links there are my writing and Patreon if you want to explore more from me and help me survive this cruel world. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope to see you dudes next time. I is Twitch going extinct? Uh, they, they, are, they are making very bad decisions that are pissing off all their user base, so... Kinda? Yeah. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.